Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy Alan a present. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Well, hello. Am I in Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, I am in vision. <laughs> All I can see in front of me was the title. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Uh, how are you? Welcome to Wednesday's Sewing Street. Um, we've had a jolly start to the day already on National Fight Procrastination Day. Don't think about it. Do it now. It's also National Read a Book Day. So combining the two, read a book now, but do it while you watch Sewing Street. And let's start, as we always do, with our early bird. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> now, our early bird today is two meters of navy cotton solid this is from rose and hubble it's beautiful quality this is the very navy actually that i used when i was making all of my samples with indigo elements one of my fabric ranges and it toned absolutely perfectly it's a brilliant neutral that isn't light uh, sort of silver or uh cream or tan or black um, we often think of those as neutrals but navy is a fantastic neutral and will really help to lift both bright colors soft colors uh, it's a great one to have in your stash now you should be paying 15 pounds and 16 pence but not today not today you're going to pay 12 pounds 16 that is three pounds and four pence per half meter, which is really less than the price of a fat quarter, isn't it, of most fabrics. 
you'd pay more than that for a fat quarter. You're paying three pound and four pence per half meter, a two meter bundle for 12.16. Now this comes in one continuous piece, one two meter piece, and I'm gonna open it out so you can see it's a lot of fabric would be ace if you wanted to do something like make a galleria quilt if you've got the galleria quilt pattern you could use this as your frame fabric if you've got my cobblestone cabin you could use this for the cobblestones tracing across the quilt if you've got my garden maze quilt pattern you could use this for the thin logs and that would really make the lighter strips, the thicker logs, sparkle. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Um, it would also be really nice for dressmaking. It's a great piece of fabric. Absolutely gorgeous. Back lining's perfect. Cushion backs, absolutely awesome. Messages. Good morning, Stuart. It's from Carol Langsey. Morning, my lovely. How are you? Some lovely mornings, actually. Helen says, good morning, Stuart, from a sunny Hereford. Woohoo. Marie says, Stuart, you are a vision. Morning. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Hilary says, morning, Stuart, from a bright and beautiful Barn Oldswick. Back to Barn Oldswick today, Hilary. You were, you were hobnobbing in Lytham St. Anne's yesterday, weren't you? Anne says, morning, Stuart. Jan says, morning, Stuart and everyone. Another day with not a cloud in the sky. Doesn't it put us all in such a gorgeous mood? Pauline's got in touch from Cornwall. Morning, Stuart. I bet it's lovely and sunny in Cornwall too, isn't it? The sea glittering absolutely gorgeous half the stock of this has gone by the way ja um, jan says good morning stuart and everyone another day with not a cloud in the sky claire says good morning stuart and all good morning my lovely have you got your early bird it's two meters of beautiful cotton solid in this fabulous navy now once everyone has checked out their baskets, we've got 14 of these bundles left. Some of you are multi-buying. Now, just to remind you, if you multi-buy a bundle, and this is a bundle, they come in separate pieces. So if you buy two of them, you'll get a two meter piece and another two meter piece. Um, but actually, that would be a great way of buying a backing for a quilt. So if you sewed two lots of these bundles together, you'd end up with 88, probably 86 by the time you've sewn them together, 86 inches wide by two meters, which is gonna be about what? About 80 inches or thereabouts. So that's a massive quilt backing, isn't it? More in baskets than we have. Do remember to check out, please. Uh, Linda slash Crystal's got in touch to say, good morning, Stuart. Lots of love, Crystal. Good morning, my lovely. Another lovely message. Morning, Stuart, from a sunny Skipton. That's from Heidi. Well, oh, Heidi, we stayed over here near Skipton last week on Monday and it was lovely. We had such a good time. Love Skipton. We're a real jet set couple, Charlie and I. We were there having a spa day one day. We were at an agricultural show looking at sheep judging the next. What can I say? It's the life we live. <laughs> Two messages. Uh, looking forward to seeing Pat and Mark on Sewing Street from Iris in West Lothian. I'm excited. We've got a brand new, brand new guest today. Jane from Suffolk says, morning, lovely Stuart. Looking forward to seeing Pat and Mark. Lovely people and fantastic kits. Yes, we have brand new guests today. Can't wait to introduce them to you. They're old friends to me and to a lot of you I know. Let's do the menu and see what's coming up on Sewing Street today. All right, this hour, we've got some fabulous, brand new and totally gorgeous pre-cuts from K Facet. At nine o'clock, I can't wait to introduce Pat and Mark Palmer to you from Totally Patched. We've got the most beautiful uh, sampler quilt. Check this out. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, full of beautiful techniques. All of the kits are pre-cut and I'm not talking into fat quarters. I'm talking into the squares, the strips, the shapes that you need. You don't have to do any cutting. You don't have to do any cutting at all. Be there, you'll love it. That's at nine. Now at 10 o'clock, we've got quilting tools, including 
can I just say my top tip for the hour, which is the Charming Circles template, which I am going to be demoing to show you how to make how to upcycle denim or use some gorgeous new denim with some beautiful scraps or charm squares to make bags, cushions, quilts. So I'll be demoing that a little bit later this morning. All right, then at 11 o'clock, Pat and Mark are back with more Totally Patched. We've got some cushions, we've got some bags. Uh, it's gonna be fab. Look at this gorgeous Texas star cushion. Love that. And then at 12 o'clock, I've got three of my very favorite sewing machines to share with you. I've got the Brother FS250, I've got the Elna 680 Plus, and I've also got the uh, Elna, sorry, the Brother embroidery machine, uh, which I'm looking forward to sharing with you at 12. So keep getting your messages in. We love to hear from you. Uh, the first step is to head on to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. And then once you get there, click on Watch Live and you'll be able to share with us. Uh, there we are. You can see that little box that says send message to this year. Hello. <laughs> Hannah, our producer's been, I'm not going to say annoying everybody, but filling everyone's head with a very annoying song this morning that none of us can stop singing. So thanks for that, Hannah. And then scroll down and you will see everything that's on today's shows. Uh, we've got, oh, look, it's new pre-cuts from Cave and they are gorgeous. They're kind of colour sorted, which is my favourite kind of pre-cut. Uh, it makes quilting so, so easy. We've got beautiful fabrics by the half meter. We've got some beautiful cotton solids actually, which are uh, really lighting my fire this morning. And there's that fabulous quilt kit from Pat and Mark. Remember, you've got uh, everything pre-cut for you. You can get straight to the sewing. If cutting accurately is what's holding you back, uh, be held back no more. Grab yourself one of Pat and Mark's fabulous kits. Then we've got the rest of the kits, actually, they're all together. So if you want to shop Pat and Mark's Totally Patched Kits, got the gorgeous Home is Where Love Begins. Isn't that beautiful? We've nicknamed that the Love Cushion. It's so pretty, it's gorgeous. Hilary, I think you might like that. Love a bit of stitchery. Uh, there's that Charming Circles ruler. That's my top tip. You might want to grab yours now. If you're going to grab a uh, K Facet charm pack, uh, you might want to grab that as well. Uh, I'm thinking a quilt. I'm thinking a quilt with some denim and a charm pack. Oh, hello. Read a book. Read a book. It's all you've got to do. Read a book. Uh, <laughs> some of my favourite tools and notions there. Lots of lovely fabrics. It's just completely gorgeous today here at Sewing Street. I know you're going to love it. Okay, now what we're gonna do, I wanna start, cause I'm super excited about this. I wanna show you the pre-cuts. Not gonna put details on screen just yet. I just wanna give you an overview. So here we are, hello. So we've got four different strip rolls and I'm gonna jump straight to my favorite first of all, which is all these fabulous hot oranges, pinks, reds, little bit of purple in there as well. That's just, it's a firecracker, isn't it? It's called Vineyard. So pour yourself a glass of vino, uh, sit back, relax, open up that strip roll and just immerse yourself in all that juicy, berry bright colour. So that'll be in a second. Then we've got the greens. Now these are fresh Amazon, I'm, I'm going to say Amazonia. I said Amazonian just as Hannah said to me, it's called Meadow. It's giving me Meadow and the Amazon. <laughs> well, you know, it's giving me all of the greens as you would expect from Cafe. The deep, the bright, the fresh, the leafy, the fruity. There's kiwis, there's limes. There's all those beautiful green grapes. Absolutely beautiful just divine tranquil greens are very healing color isn't it i think 
it's the kind of color that we all kind of feel energized but not in a kind of but a centered gorgeous kind of zen feeling i think next up we've got all these fabulous blues again a very soothing color it's the world's favorite color this is called lake i get that water thank you water but it's also got all those lovely lilacs purples this is what happens when you read a book your vocabulary expands <laughs> luscious wonderful and then it'll come as no surprise that <laughs> this one is also very very appealing for me this is rainbow this is the rate i can sing a rainbow i'm not allowed to but i could just wanted you to see all of these. I'll go through details in a second, but that's absolutely gorgeous. So each of those has 42 and a half inch pre-cut strips. Now, we've also got some 10 inch uh, charm packs. So we've got rainbow. So again, all those same colors, but in 10 inch squares. We've also got meadow, which is all of those fabulous leafy meadow greens now last of all i've got two charm packs charm packs contain um 40 i want to say 40 is it 42 doesn't say on the back 42 thank you 42 five inch squares and i've got these in lake which are all the blues and they are blues but i mean they are purple blues lilac blues turquoise blues it's all the blues fabulous and then i've also got it in meadow which is all the greens everything from jade through to lime chartreuse forest you name it it's all there right they are absolutely flying out i just need to mention that because if you want to grab any of those pre-cuts i would be super quick about it uh Okay, we're going to talk about solid bundles first because these are a great price and I just look at those juicy, gorgeous colours. Uh, I do love to mix solids with pre-cuts. It makes them go much further. It gives them a chance to shine. It gives a little bit of a, a frame, you know, to patterned fabrics. We'll start with white because, I mean, doesn't everything beautiful one meter piece should be over seven pounds it's 6.99 we've dropped the price we've dropped the price you're making a saving there it's a one meter pre-cut piece now hannah if people if if our shoppers are, are buying multiples they're pre-cut they are pre-cut so if you buy three of these you'll get three separate one meter pieces that's me miming the three separate pieces <laughs> you got that should be 379 a half meter 758 so you're saving 59 pence per meter well that's fantastic that's great that's great that's your white lovely absolutely lovely fresh works really nicely with things like your tilde as well doesn't it, it always works we'll do blue next is this a peacock yeah this is peacock and just while that's there i'm going to grab one piece of blue k facet just to say uh boom look at that i mean just fabulous just fabulous and it just it gives it somewhere to shine against doesn't it it makes it pop even though the colors are quite toned it still makes it pop it's like being in the Caribbean and diving into the sea. Oh, when shall we go? Shall we? Shall we book it? <laughs> no, I realise you're serious. That's Peacock. Let's do Jade next. Jade is beautiful. It's lovely. And actually, although initially you might think i might think oh let's put the blues with that let's put the greens with that but do you know what i would do actually i would put i would put um vi vineyard yeah i would put vineyard with that opposite each other on the color wheel complementary color you see so that would work beautifully 
Uh, remember you're getting a full metre piece. If you want to multi-buy, absolutely do, but just keep in mind you'll get separate pre-cut one metre pieces. But beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Quarter of the jades in basket. So you're thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking garden maize quilt. You'd need one and a half metres to do the single bed. Two bundles, one of those, very nice quilt. Just saying. Let's do chartreuse next. Um, my oldest friend, Lucy, her daughter is 21 uh, next month, which I can't believe quite where that's happened. But I remember when she was about two and a half, she had a dress this colour and um, people were always saying to her, what a lovely dress you're wearing. Isn't that a lovely green dress? And Lucy had taught her that it was chartreuse. So she would say this two year old would say, it's not green, it's chartreuse, which is precious. And I love it. This is also chartreuse. I want to show you what a full metre looks like, by the way, just so you know exactly what you're getting. It's a lot for 6 .99. It is a lot. Ah, it's a big piece of fabric. As I say, to do the, um, I think it's a 12 block garden maze quilt, which is quite a decent sort of single bed size quilt. You need a metre and a half. You know, it's not a huge amount, um, but you know, it goes a long way. Oh, half the peacock's gone. The peacock is this one, by the way. Delicious. Absolutely gorgeous. The jade is also very popular. White's always popular. And then next up, we've got raspberry. Raspberry. Now, raspberry, you could, I think you could absolutely mix with the blues. Oh, yes, look at that. Because look, actually, I don't know. Can you see? Kafe has actually put raspberry into the blues. Can you see that? Uh, fab. So, well, perfect. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. But equally, there's also raspberry in here so that if you wanted a very intense very bright and joyous combo or i think it would well actually look there's raspberry in here too and of course it's going to work with rainbow so really i think raspberry is a great choice for any of these new strip rolls or charm packs remember we've got the five inch charm packs we've got the 10 inch charm packs and then last of all we've got black well i love i love using black against bright colors uh one of my very first shows oh my goodness why is that 5.99 great well you know me and black fabric get it in my basket that's fab same quality same manufacturer everything um oh okay it was on the yeah it was on the system uh marie saying no graphics for the strips no not yet marie we are going to do them in just a second i just want to tease you with them at the moment you can go on the website or call the call center but we'll put the graphics up for the uh, strips very very shortly don't you worry uh, jan's got in touch to say looking forward to totally patched but going to my embroidery group today so we'll catch up this evening will you have a good time at your embroidery group jan sandra says morning gorgeous man Thank you. Greetings from Scorchio, Glasgow. Still, she says, still. Well, enjoy it. Enjoy it. it this is that bit of summer that we were all hoping we might get. Uh, Sonia says, morning, my lovely. It's my birthday today, so I'm looking forward to browsing Sewing Street. Sonia, from everybody here at Sewing Street, mwah, many happy returns. Have a wonderful day. Now, beautiful. Oh, good. Somebody misheard my Galleria quilt and heard it as something else, which has made us all giggle. Aha! Um, black. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. I mean, it looks amazing with, with the rainbow. And in fact, I did rainbow hearts from my book, Simple Shape Stunning Quilts, using um, 
a rainbow bundle. Well, I'll show you the pattern, but I did it on Sewing Street. I did it on Sewing Street. And um, so it's not, the, the version I did with the cave isn't in the book. I did it with, with um, here we go. So here's the quilt pattern, Rainbow Heart. And this uses two and a half inch strips against a black background. And uh, let me show you the actual quilt. So there's the actual quilt on a bed. But what I did was I did one heart block using cave rainbow and black solid. And it's one of my favorite things. Right, let's give Maria and everyone else the graphics for these gorgeous pre-cuts. Should we start with strip rolls? Where do you want to start? Rainbow, let's do rainbow. Should we dive in? Let's dive in and have a little look. Just lovely. Uh, so you get 40 two and a half inch strips and they're all cut from selvage to selvage. This is their first time on air. And oh, there's something so lovely. <laughs> oh, look at those. There's something so fabulous about unwrapping a strip roll. So you get, uh, I think if, I think you get two of each design. So you get 20 different designs and you get two of each, which is heaven for me because it means that I can balance out the colours very, very easily through a quilt. I often divide a quilt up when I'm, you know, separating blocks out into four quarters. And this way, effectively, I could put half a strip into each of the four quarters and then I would have perfect balance in my quilt. But I mean, you do you, however you like to separate out the fabrics in your quilt, but it's a very, very easy way of doing it. And I'm all for making life easy when it comes to quilting, everything else in fact too. Beautiful, aren't they? And the transition between the different color stories is so smooth with all those different patterns and tones and colors. Love that little nod to stained glass there. How beautiful is that? That's our rainbow, our absolutely beautiful rainbow. 47, I did, I did, I made a little rainbow. Lots and lots of you got that in your baskets. What's it to be? These are brand new today. We've not had them on air before. We're gonna do vineyard uh, strip roll next. So this, uh, we don't have this in any other option. So the only option in Vineyard is two and a half inch strips. So if you want to do cobblestone cabin, if you wanted to do garden maze, if you wanted to make a log cabin with this, all good. Morning all, Stuart, you're looking radiant as always. Thank you, Tara. Um, I'd buy everything this morning if I could. It's all gorge. I especially love the rainbow strips. I'm a bit biased there, but I know they're lovely, aren't they? And I suppose with the rainbow, you've got a bit of everything. If you can't decide, blues, greens, you can have kind of a bit of everything in the rainbow. So um, the this one I matched up with jade. I'm, what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to lay the jade down and then we can explore the st strip roll on top of it. How about that? Yeah. But obviously, you know, what you put your fabrics with can really influence how they look. So, for example, if you put this against um, black, you'd get a, a particular look. If you put it against white, you'd get a different look, very crisp, very sharp, you know. And that would, uh, this, these are gorgeous against the jade, aren't they? You want to, when you unroll your jelly roll or your strip roll at home, you want to do it outside really and give it a little shake. <laughs> There's always little bits. Oh, that's a good tip, Hannah. I love that. So get your vacuum cleaner out and don't unwrap it and just vacuum the edges. That's a lovely idea. Oh, I'm loving that stripe. That's beautiful. Now that's a very John Scott shirt, don't you think? Or a me shirt, actually. Yummy. 
These are all, if you love the energy, the heat, the spice, the sort of razzmatazz, which I do. I love oranges, pinks, reds together. For me, you know, this, this reminds me of, of traveling in China because I remember seeing for the first time actually in China and it was in a temple, seeing orange, pink and red all together. The pillars were painted and they had all of these intense colors and it just blew my mind. Um, and you've got all of this together. But then you've also got the cooling element of lilac and soft turquoise as well which again is where you can pull it. You can see in here that turquoise uh, colour, that jade colour that then I've teamed this with on the table. Just goes on, doesn't it? Beautiful. Ooh, ooh, look at that one. That's a bit of me. Well, wow all of it 47.99 that's a great price isn't it too there's so much impact in a k facet design and the thing is this is i said earlier on i do love best when they're all color either all one color and it's hardly one color but when they're all kind of mediums or darks and i tell you why <laughs> i tell you why just so you know why I bobbed down then. It wasn't just a, hey. Um, <laughs> because with a lot of like your Moda jelly rolls and, and, and your other jelly, you do tend to get, which is lovely, you know, some lights, some mediums, some darts. But it does rather dictate what you can do with it. If you want all darks or all mediums, then you're going to put it with a neutral or a blender or something like that. Really, the perfect, perfect world is this. It's this where they're all kind of intense, colourful. Perfect. Tara, you've got back in touch. You're tempted, I can tell. Oh, the possibilities with all those vibrant, delicious colours. They all look so juicy, if that makes sense. Oh, Tara, you're speaking my language. It does make sense. It does make sense. They are juicy and delicious. Uh, let me just show you just against the wooden backdrop i say wood it's not wood really but <laughs> solid solid mahogany quarter of the stocks in baskets you all want to see all the other strips and, and rolls don't you i know you do i don't blame you oh gosh though that is lovely we'll see i need some of it i need all of this need them all keep in mind vineyard only comes in the design role today we don't have any other options absolutely oh that is magnificent right okay if we didn't well no i'm saying if we didn't have the rainbow i'd be going for that but i think i'd still be going for that blur lake 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 this is the lake um, and I'm just going to, lots of you are already checking out on this. I think if you really love blue, you know you love blue, don't you? And that's it. Job done. Decision made. Um, don't forget as well, you can, you could very, very easily mix two of these strip rolls together. So, for example, if you think about a log cabin, traditionally has half light, half dark, but you could have half hot half cool and put them together or you could have you know purples in one side lilacs and perhaps greens in the other or greens in the other half so you know you can you can work a, a two color quilt like that too um, i'm gonna put i want to show this against a white backdrop because i think it'll really help to make the colors pop so have a think about if you were going to do something like um, a log cabin, you could have one half all white strips, the other half all of these blues. That would be the most gorgeous, sort of sparkly, frosty 
winter quilt this could be the white solid couldn't it but you know what i mean if you want a wintry quilt that's all kind of ice crystally and snowy landscape but you don't want the slightest hint of christmasy fabrics but you still want it to have a sort of winter wonderland look what about this combo lake strip roll with white solid now i think it's fair to say kaif would not approve but newsflash kaif's not here <laughs> I am. <laughs> you know what I mean though? I know Kaif doesn't like cream and he doesn't like white and that's cool, that's fine because he does his thing, you know, but, but I think that you could very, very successfully mix these fabrics with solid white or white on white, something like that and you would just get a gorgeous, sparkly, wonderful quilt. Oh, this one's popular. Over half the stock. It's popular. It's gonna be popular. Don't get me started. I love that musical. I absolutely blarted at the end. I was sobbing at the end of Wicked. Uh, Maria says, morning, gorgeous. Hey, you're getting down with the kids, Stuart. Was it when I went... Ooh. What you didn't hear was the terrible creaking and cracking of every joint in my lower body. I definitely can't get down with anybody. Uh, Margaret, <laughs> good morning. Good morning, all. Here for start to finish today. Have a great one. Well, Margaret, I'll do my best to put you off. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's wonderful to have you here all day. Thank you. Steph's got in touch to say, Morning, Stuart, in beautiful blue. I never knew that blacks could be so different. How come? The sweet mystery of life. Take care. It's true, isn't it? You know, things like black, navy, um, even white. You can get different shades. Um, it's true. It, it can be very difficult. Greys, browns, tans. Uh, Jane's, uh, Sarah Jane rather says, morning Stuart. Good morning, my lovely. Look at these, look at these. And I love the way actually as well that they shade from the very darkest through to the very lightest. They have a gorgeous kind of ombre, don't they? Oh, single figures left, single figures left. I've got one more design roll to show you and that is the green. And can I just say a heartfelt apology to Kat, who's going to have to put these away? Bless her. Sorry, Kat. You're all right with that, aren't you? Kat's ace. She just does it. <laughs> right, green. This is uh, Meadow. Le Meadow. Le Meadow. can't get into this Hannah I'm joking well I can but I am struggling slightly there we go right and I know when you get your strip roll home it's really hard isn't it to un undo it I don't mean physically hard but sometimes you say oh no I just leave it pristine and but do jump in have a look at these gorgeous gorgeous fabrics we should have Kat do a video sometime on how to put a strip roll back together because she does it and you'd never know they'd ever been touched two forks and a friend apparently <laughs> There we go, there we go. Right, do you know what? I'm gonna be very bold and daring. I'm gonna grab raspberry. Are you familiar with the film Thoroughly Modern Millie? It's a Julie Andrews film, it's really good. And um, she's on with Carol Channing, who, um, who <laughs> there's one very bizarre scene where she's in an aeroplane and she just shouts out of the cockpit, raspberries. It's a very, very strange moment, which I feel I've just recreated for everybody. <laughs> raspberries. You're very welcome. Don't they look fab against that pink though? Really, really beautiful. And as I say, Kafe has included this raspberry pink in many of the green fabrics. So, you know, this is where, this is where you can, I suppose, piggyback 
on what CAFE's done. And it's quite easy to spot, isn't it? You know, you can see that little accent, that pop of colour. And if you want to, you can grab that. But I mean, you might also see in here a soft cloud blue that he's used in quite a lot of the fabrics or a really soft lilac or grey, which you could just as easily uh, pull out and team these fabrics with and they would look stunning. So, you know, it's really about what's going to work for you. You see this grey in the background? You could pull that out and that could be your neutral. Lots and lots of different options. <laughs> Maria's got back into touch to say, oh, you want to hear my knees? Oh, yeah. No one warns you, do they? Well, I suppose people do, really, but you don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you get 40 different strips, and I, and I think it's fair to say that you get two of each of 20 designs. Yeah, it doesn't always look like they're repeats, though, does it? You know, it, it, it depends where on the strip they're cut. But even though lots of them are very large prints, they still look awesome cut in two and a half, <coughs> excuse me, in two and a half inch strips. I was overwhelmed then. I was overwhelmed. The beauty of Cave. There we go. Yum! That's what I need. Thank you, cat. You do look after me. Just have my medicine. Let me go. Mm. Mm. Cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Do you know I only drink coffee here? I'm much calmer at home. <laughs> That's meadow. But I mean, really, I, I feel like I'm in a fiesta there. I don't, I don't feel like I'm skipping through a meadow. Do you know what I mean, though? I mean, I'm not knocking the name. I think it's absolutely beautiful. But it's a, it's a party. It's a party. It really is. Certainly mixed with raspberry. Raspberries. Okay, right, I'm, I was going to do 10 inch, but I'm going to do 5 inch charms now because they're going to sell out, so I need to do them before they do. Yeah, single figures on both. Should we do lake first? Yeah, let's do lake first. So there are nine of these left, and I'm just going to flick through because these are exactly the same prints that you get in your strip roll. So you've got a mixture of florals, abstract, spots, linear designs. There's some wonderful cave classics in there, like his two-tone polka dots, like his, uh, uh, is it called uh, paperweight? Yeah, the paperweight design, guinea flower, that's in there as well. The chrysanthemums are there. Absolutely lovely. We've just got single figures of this one left though. If you are thinking as well about that uh, circle tool that I'm going to be showing you later in the 10 o'clock hour, that works brilliantly, perfectly with five inch charm squares. So it'd be great, great way of buying a little bit of everything as well. 15 99 for these, just nine left. That's all we've got left. How many in baskets? Okay, 28 in baskets. I've got four of these left. Okay, we'll leave that one with you now. Okay, now, no 10 inch charm pack for Lake, by the way. Uh, Meadow, now these are the greens. I do have a 10 inch uh, layer cake or a 10 inch charm pack for that. But here we go, here are the greens. Ooh, I've got six left. I've got 18 in baskets. So there are six more opportunities to get this beauty home. Lovely, fresh, vibrant, emeralds, citrons. Oh, I love that one that's sort of all buttons. That's cute. Little plaid. 
gorgeous. Paperweights, lilies, chrysanthemums. I mean, it's just extraordinary, isn't it? And I think when you get a charm pack, you, you sort of feel like, almost like you've got his body of work all in five inch squares. Two left, two left, that's it. Okay, right. Oh my goodness. Right, now I've got a 10 inch charm pack. So this has, um, again, is it 40 or 42? 42, 42. 42 five, uh, 10 inch squares. So sort of four times the fun. I know. Um, again, I'm just going to lift up this corner and show because it's exactly the same fabrics. Or should I open it right up? What do you think? Should I open it right? Yes. Throw caution to the wind. Read a book. Read a book. <laughs> it's also actually um, coffee ice cream day which I know is fairly specific, but I'm there for it. Have you ever tried affogato? You know, it's like good vanilla ice cream with a es hot espresso coffee poured over the top. Charlie once ordered it in a restaurant and was terribly disappointed. Yeah. I think it probably would have been better if we'd been in Italy. <laughs> Right, here we go. 10 inch charm. Wow. I mean, we love the cabbages, don't we, Kat? We absolutely love the cabbages design. It's a bit of Philip, Philip uh, Jacobs there. The fans. Ooh. Oh, look at these vibrant colours. Oh, they're jewel bright, aren't they? Lustrous wild oh that's a bit of me absolutely stunning love these again these would work really well with the raspberry you could mix these with the um chartreuse you could mix these with the uh, jade you could also mix these with black with gray with white if you just want to make everything a bit fresher you could use a lilac, a soft lilac as well, or a navy blue would be gorgeous. Hey, maybe you've got the two metre early bird, two metres of navy. Absolutely stunning. And 10 inch squares give lots and lots of possibilities for different shapes uh, and different sizes. Um, one of my favourite, let me just find, I'm going to find it, read a book, read a book. I'm just going to see if I can find it in here. This is Simple Shape Stunning Quilts. It is. Um, half circles. Oh, there we go. Half circles. So this one. Now, I made this with Tilda. But don't you think Kaif against whatever solid you want to would look awesome? And this was the other one, Showcase. So this was a design just to use different shades of solid in the background. And I think there's only, uh, hang on, there's one, two, three, four, five different shades of background. And then it's just big circles, appliqued on top, just to show off those prints. And you could cut, you know, like a nine inch or a nine and a half inch circle from each square with fusible web on the back iron it to a say a ten and a half inch background square and then um blanket stitch around the edge and then sew them all together with thin sashing be beautiful be beautiful and a great way just to show off the beauty of these prints without doing very much with them just letting them shine uh, that is 47.99 and i've got less than 10. i've got less than 10 left this is their first time out and it could be well be their last time out. It's the first time out. I went and saved the best for less. Oh, 14 left. You've been very savvy at home. Very savvy at home getting these. Um, I need to show you these though because they're so beautiful, so beautiful. 
And I think with a 10 inch square, you get to see a lot more of the prints, don't you? You can see a lot more of where all of that juicy colour comes from. You're getting two of each square by and large, I think. Oh, don't they look different? Oh, three of that one. There we go. Lovely. Love that design. Got these in some bundles, actually. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. If these are in your baskets, by the way, please don't hang about. I know that they're going to sell out. <laughs> I've got to just look at these lovely cars. I've got to read this message out from Wendy. Oh, Stuart, I know what you mean. We're talking about clicky, clicky hips now. Um, years ago, I thought I bought a cheap pair of shoes that I, um, and I, they kept clicking as I ran up and down the stairs at work. But one day I got home, kicked off the shoes and ran up the stairs and suddenly stopped because the clicking was my knees. Oh, bless you, Wendy, that's adorable. I hope you got them sorted. Oh, clicky knees, clicky knees. There's nothing else to say, is there? I'm just leaving that with it, you know, contemplate, clicky knees. Oh, look though. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, you just got a bit of everything there, haven't you? So I would say if you can't decide between lake or meadow or vineyard and you really do love a little bit of everything, rainbow is the way to go. Because actually, if you imagine cutting each of these squares into four quarters, and making them into, say, four charm packs, you know, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. It's like having four different fabrics, isn't it, all in one? Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, Carmela says, hi Stuart, just tuned in, so apologies if you've covered this. I've just made my first quilt top with a cave jelly roll. Um, however, I also have a five inch charm pack, but I'm not sure what to do with it. Could you give me some ideas? You've come to the right place, Carmela. I certainly can. Um, stick around for 10 o'clock. I'm going to show you how to use a fab uh, template. It's a circle template to create Japanese folded patchwork. Um, there's also lots and lots of lovely ideas for using five inch charm squares in you scrap sew blocks make 100 quilts or simple shape stunning quilts and both of those are available in the 10 o'clock show too so i'll pick out some quilts that are really really suitable for using five inch squares because i know i can't stop myself buying them either and then you know i look at them too and think what will i do with that but then i think oh loads <laughs> actually i can think of loads but yeah stick around for 10 o'clock now, oh, and I can't wait for nine o'clock actually because we've got Totally Patched and they're brand new guests for us here. Oh, late design roll. Oh, I've got seven left, only seven left. Did we start off with a lot? We started off with lots and they have gone really quickly. Oh, they are gorgeous. These are all those lovely blues. But I mean, it's blues, it's turquoise, aqua, lilac, purple. There's pink in there as well. So Kaif does that thing, which I always say, and that is, and it's a great rule for scrap quilting as well. The more variety of fabrics, the more variety of tone and shade that you use in a quilt, the less any of the individuals actually matter. You know, if you're only going to use two shades of green in a quilt, then they have to be the right shades of green, don't they? If they jar at all, they'll really jar. Whereas if you use 20 or 30 different shades of green, if three or four of them or nine of them are a little bit off, they'll all work together. Uh, this is stunning, isn't it? We're down to our last handful. 
absolutely stunning and they shade and this is a little bit different actually for this one um because it's a little bit different to the others it shades from lightest to darkest which i think you could use in all kinds of exciting ways in your quilting uh, raspberry solid is sold out now absolutely gorgeous mm. and here we go through to the dark fab look at that gorgeous absolutely look at that right from light through to dark kind of ombre but don't feel like if when you're using this say in a in a log cabin that you have to because log cabins are half light half dark that you have to split these for the light half and these for the dark you could do that but i would call all of these my dark fabrics and then my light half of my log cabin i would have very light lighter even than these or not it wouldn't matter it wouldn't matter now if you want it if you think log cabin what is that never quilted before what's log cabin um actually there are log cabin blocks in the brand new quilt from totally patched which is coming up in the next hour so um actually i know that pat is going to be demoing how to make a log cabin block so look at this look at this and if you've not met pat and mark from totally patched i know you're going to love them and I know you're going to love their kits. And here's their USP. Uh, they pre-cut all the patches for you. So I'm not just talking about cutting it into fat quarters or even strips for the borders. I'm talking everything is cut out, ready to sew. If you do flippy corners, you get the rectangle and the square pre-cut. If you're doing half square triangles and you're sewing on the diagonals, you've got your squares already cut, ready to put together and away you go. I mean, it's just fab that's coming up in just a few minutes. Now, um, do check out on that blue strip roll. We haven't got very many left at all anymore. Um, just wanted to mention I've got a couple of bundles. It's too bright. So this is a um, couple of fabrics I pulled out earlier on. You get four half meters and you get the turquoise blue. You get the purple. You get the green. Oh, wow. And you get the red. Now we were expecting all CAFE new fabrics to come in at 849 a half meter. These are 799 a half meter. I've got lots of uh, CAFE by the half meter as well. They're all 799 as well. 3196 for two meters of CAFE, gorgeous. They should be, yeah, over eight pound, 849. We're doing 799 anyway, so take it <laughs> oh you know i only question prices if i think they're too high but if they're lower than i was expecting i just run with it just enjoy them so beautiful uh if you want a little more of a fabric maybe your binding maybe a border on a quilt but equally it might just be that you want to include these into your stash and you've got your lovely stash of cave. Gorgeous. So those are our brights. Four half metres, 31.96, 7.99 a half metre, which is fabulous value. Now I've got lights as well. Yeah, these are gorgeous. So you've got these lovely kind of peachy, minty tones here. You've got more of the... I'm going to call that raspberry ripple. Black, white and grey. This is nice. Like that. Make amazing sashing, wouldn't it? Gorgeous. Yeah, more of those softer tones we don't always associate with with Kaif, do we? But like, for example, this, if you want, if you like doing bag making like I do, you know, I think that is 
an easy combo. What a lovely combination for a bag that would be, you know? And each half meter is gonna make you a bag. So there's a lot of value at 31.96. If you make and sell, you know, having fabrics which are distinctive, eye-catching, different to everything else that you see sort of on the high street. It's so important, isn't it, to have those points of difference. Yeah, that's your USP, isn't it? Pattern mark, pre-cut all the patches so you don't have to. And they are good at cutting. Very accurate, very, very easy to sew. You might have thought in the past, oh, what I wouldn't do to just pay somebody to cut all my patchwork out for me so I can just do the sewing. Today's the day. Today is the day. Uh, can I just show you very quickly? I'm just going to grab these because you'll need to have a look on the website for these. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's stunning. Whew. I'd make an infinity scarf out of that. Beautiful. Anyway, I just wanted to show you, look, I've got all of these. Oh, wow. Um, I've got these, but we'll put them all on the website. They are all on the website. And most of these are also 7 99 a half meter. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Oh, wow. There are some real stunners here. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that one. It's really good. Lovely. Yeah, so I've got all of those. I've also, just to mention as well, I've got three extra wide. I haven't got three, have I? That's sold out, but I have got these two. I'm just thinking if you went for meadow in either the 10 inch, the five inch or the strip roll, you might wanna get yourself some of this. Look, this is the extra wide backing. It's a lightweight cotton sateen. This is in Jade Mille Fiore. 14.99 for half a meter. Now you could mix those very nicely. Oh, border fabric. Very, very economical way of buying it. Anyway, anyway, I must go because Mark and Pat from Totally Patched are coming up after the break. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favorite presenters, guests, and makes ever again. 
Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favorite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy Alan a present. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Well, this is a very exciting hour. I'm joined by old friends. Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. Hello. Hi. Hey, you Good morning. Two. And I know as well, actually, old friends to many of you as well who have been watching or have known Pat and Mark for years and years. I remember back in the late 90s, early 2000s, um, at my quilt group, people bringing in kits that they had got from Pat and everybody talking about the fact that in these kits, everything was cut out. And I remember it caused an absolute sensation in our quilt group. And everyone was like, we don't have to cut anything out. Like, nope, everything's cut out. All the triangles, yes. All the squares, uh-huh. And the strips, everything cut out for you by Pat and Mark's expert hands. And it's your USP, isn't it? It's, yeah. We've been cutting... Uh, you... You're married, aren't you? We are the way you just yeah. talked at the same <laughs> time, I love yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and we've been cutting ever since, just yeah. cut, cut, cut. Non-stop. Yeah. So you're quilters that don't mind the cutting out stage? Mark or is does that the you, cutting. Mark? It, 
kicking off the street. <laughs> show us the steady hand, Mark. Show us the steady hand. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, look at that rock solid. All, he could be a brain surgeon. <laughs> all by rotary cutters, no big machine or anything like that. So yeah. Perfect. Personally cut by myself. Precision yeah. cut. Yeah. And, and this is great news for any of us who don't like the cutting out, who find it painful, difficult, impossible, inaccurate. Maybe it's the one thing that's been holding back your quilting. And now the solution's here in the form of Mark and Pat from Totally Patch thrilled to bits that they're here. Uh, you've already been checking out on their patterns and kits uh, online this morning. We're gonna start with the kit. Now this hour, the focus is the Springtime Delight uh, quilt, which has been hanging behind me this morning and is hanging behind Pat and Mark now. And really, I think it's fair to call this a sampler, a quirky sampler. Yes. Uh, <laughs> delightfully put together this big star pattern that's formed of a number of different hand and machine pieced patchwork blocks. Now in your kit, you're getting all of your fabrics, all of your instructions, and remember, and I think this is key, everything is cut out for you. I call that, now, the, I call that the blurb, but well, I got told off for calling it a blurb. It's a full instructions of what you get, and Pat spends a lot of time <laughs> doing it. Yeah, it's not a blurb, folks. Come um, on, bit of respect for Pat, hey? <laughs> yeah, I know. Come on, come on, it doesn't cost anything. <laughs> so you've got the blurb right at the start. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you're, if you're going for the kit, it will look slightly different to the instruction booklet, which you can buy as a separate standalone pattern. Because the way this is put together, I love it. It's almost like a kind of block of the month or something you can do as a series because everything's packaged individually. So you get into it and you've got packet one. This has your instructions within the packet and all of your pre-cut fabrics in the packet ready to go. So for example, if you're going away for the weekend, or you're having a night away with friends, something like that, you think, you know what, I'm gonna take a bit of sewing with me, I'm gonna pop the machine in the back of the car. You could take just packet one or packet three, and you could do a bit of sewing over the weekend and know that everything you need um, in terms of fabric and instructions is contained. Collector from Merthyr Tidville's got in touch to say, good morning to you all. Love Pat and Mark, <laughs> and you Stuart in brackets. <laughs> Thank you. Don't forget you. <laughs> <laughs> Their kits are fabulous, all done in capitals. Easy to do, easy to follow instructions. That's from Avril. We love that message. Thank, Thank you, you. Avril. Thank you. Thank you. Quarter of the stock of the kit already in baskets. Uh, patterns already checked out as well. If you want to grab yours, I wouldn't hang about. I wouldn't hang about. So everything in the kit is set up and it's all in the right order. So I'm not going to mess this up. You can take Ooh. it out. <laughs> I'm going to dive in there. We've got packet one, everything's in there. Block two, oh, now we're getting into some English paper piecing. Uh, look at this gorgeous fabric. Oh, is this Moda? Moda, yeah. Moda. Oh, yeah. lovely. So this is using the really good stuff. Can we have a look as well at the block actually as it appears within the quilt? That's stunning. Really lovely. Look, you've got those, you've got four heart blocks. What I really, a little detail I noticed actually, which is in the top corner, well, all four corners, is the twin needle yeah. work. That's gorgeous and it's a subtle detail but it's so beautiful pat i love that yeah i think it it's it's a, a little i like to get as much technique into things mm -hmm. as i can mm -hmm. and as you said it's a quirky sampler so we want it to be a little bit different mm -hmm. like i don't want just rows of blocks and rows right absolutely um, and the log cabin set it off beautifully but the corners you know you've got enough going on you yes. don't want anything else there and the twin needle work you know a lot of people haven't done and most people have got a twin needle Absolutely. in their little box and they don't get it out exactly um so um I, I think it's gorgeous in the in the corners i think it's a beautiful addition a message for you from julie who's in monmouthshire welcome pat and mark <laughs> i love the kits the quality of the fabric and the accuracy mark is fabulous <laughs> and such good value that's jules in south wales well, this is it i've had many people say to me in the past if i could pay 
pay somebody to do my cutting yeah. for me, mm. I would do it. Yeah. This is your chance. Uh, same sentiment from Welsh Mary, who's in the East Riding. I know Welsh Mary very well. <laughs> Good morning, my darling. Good morning, lovely Stuart. I love Totally Patched, Pat and Mark. They're excellent kits. Great to have them cut ready. We're overwhelmed with messages for you. Another one, Mark. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I have many of Pat and Mark's kits. You five, you you five straight in. You dive straight in. You dive straight in. <laughs> From now on, I'm going to be fiving straight in. <laughs> Believe me, everything is pre-cut. They're also some of the nicest people ever. That's oh, Linda. We, we pay them well. Oh, I mean, <laughs> five pound well spent. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's fab. Another message. Oh, I was wow. only talking about these quilts the other day. Nice to see Pat and Mark. That's Margaret in Lanarkshire. How lovely. lovely. You're very welcome guests. Well, thank you for having us. Very just, welcome just guests. Just on the cutting thing, uh, mm. Stuart, is also if, if you you can't cut because you, your dexterity, dexterity yeah. and things like that, or you're scared of cutting because you're new to it, yeah. it's an ideal, ideal way to get into quilting for that reason as well. Yeah, totally agree. Yeah. Well, it's, it's often the thing, it's not the piecing, it's the thing that, that separates the absolute beginner from yeah. the more experienced quilter isn't it yeah. the, the quality of their cutting and it gets people into it yeah and then gradually like they can do a few kits and then they might want to learn to cut uh, which is sure. fine for sure and we always give enough detail all the cutting instructions in the pattern so you can you know reproduce them time and time again great to know yeah just because it's pre-cut don't think you're not getting all the cutting instructions they're all there you know it's true isn't it that sometimes especially with a big quilt or a complex quilt you can lose the will to live yeah. before you've <laughs> sewn a stitch yeah, you, you know you really can yeah or you can miscut your expensive yeah. fabric exactly. and that is the biggest Ho most horrible mistake to make. Look at this. This is the log cabins. Log cabin. Look, everything's cut out. Not just in strips, but to the right lengths. <laughs> yes. Yep. To the right lengths. Don't feel overwhelmed. This is the most organised way of quilting. Everything's been done for you. I mean, what an absolute joy to just be able to open up the packet sit straight down to your sewing machine mm. and start sewing. Yeah. Yeah. But not just sewing squares together, making log cabins, making beautiful English paper pieced blocks, making, you know, different patchwork techniques. Pat and Mark, uh, mm. Joan from Kent's going to say, I've had several kits, always great value. Very helpful on the phone too. Mm, we try, uh, so we try don't we? We, we do, do. Yeah. yeah. If, if oh, it's too technical for me to, uh, to do, I'll pass it over. Yeah, Mark, Mark usually answers the <laughs> phone, answers I usually answer yeah. the emails. I'll let you speak to the Brains Trust. <laughs> <laughs> I know which, which direction to pass the phone. Fair enough, yeah. yeah. But, yeah we'll, but between if, the two of you... Yeah. Exactly, yeah. If yeah. It's, you know, if, if you get stuck or confused or, you know, it's just a question, isn't it? It's yeah. best to ask. Of course it is. Make sure, and if you make a mistake, yep. let us know yep. and we'll help to put you right. Brilliant. That's great news. Julie from Derbyshire has got in touch. So many messages for you. Nice to see you both. Love your kits and love to Stuart. Thank you, Julie. <laughs> see, they're not Gorgeous. forgetting They're not forgetting No, no. no. <laughs> my, my ego is too fragile to be forgotten. Everybody knows that. Oh, doubles are rising star that's beautiful again everything cut out for you the chain blocks the star blocks look at this everything all in individual packets your twin needle blocks your setting look here you've got your borders your binding and everything isn't just pre-cut but it's beautifully put together as well isn't it it's just an absolute joy to open that box dive straight in five straight in sorry five, five straight, straight in <laughs> you're absolutely right <laughs> they're here all week no they are only here today, only today. so if you want to get your springtime delight quilt uh, today's the day now um that is the full kit it even comes with full beautiful instructions at the very start on the content yep. it's not a blurb it's <laughs> not a blurb okay all beautifully packaged so many of you going for that well done if you've got yours also split pays available if you would like to take them which is fabulous three split pays so zero interest over half the stock's gone well done if you've checked out if it's in your basket don't forget it's not yours until you do 63.33 
that's what you pay today if you go for the split pay option we'll send the kit straight out to you Susan who is in West Sussex says good morning the cutting has stopped me so far from making a quilt this is perfect for me and it's so pretty thank you Sue thank you that's it that's just what you want yeah. isn't it yeah. you, you need just somebody to dip their toe in uh, the big the big thing is don't open all your packets Mark usually says that's this. What I was waiting for a yeah. point to say that but um, you beat me to it one at a time one packet at a time and work with that yeah that's otherwise you could have fabric all over your table yeah. and you wouldn't know which, which, which piece of which. fabric goes with what so, so keep one packet it. at a time yeah 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 absolutely that's great advice don't just open it all no. and get, roll in it. All excited and <laughs> look at it all and then thought, oh, where do, what goes where? Yeah. You've, you've seen me working in my studio, Mark. That's exactly <laughs> what I do. Yeah, one packet at a time. But that's lovely, isn't it? Because if you are, as I say, going away for the weekend or going mm. on a week's holiday, so lucky you, uh, something like that, yeah. you know, you could take one or more of yeah. the packets. Or, yeah. or you've got an afternoon or a morning, you'd think, oh, I can just do one block or something like that. Yeah. Take it out. Do that block. Yeah. Put it back in the box in the bag when you've made it. Yeah. You know where it is as well. Yeah. Keep everything organised. Yeah. yeah. If you're time poor, there's so many reasons to buy a totally patched kit. The cutting's all done for you. That's well, ten hours, twenty hours, thirty hours cutting time <laughs> gone. You, 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 it's done. Mark's done it for you. Myra from Falkirk says, welcome to Pat and Mark. Great to have them here. Uh, I have a few kits, great quality. And that's from Myra, who's near Stirling in Scotland. Excellent. Fabulous. Excellent. Thank you, Myra. A small stock warning for you. And everyone's checked out. We have only seven of the kits available, okay? Everything else is spoken for right now in baskets or already checked out. But do remember that just because a basket is uh, has it something in it doesn't mean it belongs to anybody it doesn't yet uh, it means that you could still go in and get your kit keep that in mind all right we're going to take that out for now and we're going to have a look at the instructions now um, you've called it a booklet I call it a book um, <laughs> it is full instructions for making the kit making the quilt sorry so if you want to go for a pattern only option here it is now within your pattern you've got of course full measurements for cutting everything out yeah. full block piecing instructions it's still treated in exactly the same way as the quilt kit but everything's been collated into a ring bound book I've asked my publishers so many times please can I have ring bound they Lovely. won't do it but from a practical point of view that's exactly it why. is the best exactly why we do isn't it, it? yeah it is yeah. the best to just be able to open it flat yeah. on the desk you're working how, how many times have you had the book and you're looking at a block to make a block and then by the time you go back to the page the pages flip back over exactly. again and you've got to find it again exactly but yeah exactly it's the most practical way for have a workbook so it's all ring bound all spiral bound you've got full instructions for all of us and the way it's been set out is exactly the same as in the kit you know you've got kind of if you like lesson Section. one yeah. lesson two yeah. lesson three and you're working through the blocks can i ask you pat mm -hmm. is there should we follow that order in an ideal world um no, not really you could you could do it in any order really it's just that they're not in um you know easiest to hardest or okay. that sort of thing right um they're just different and it doesn't matter you know too much which comes first the, the log cabins uh, there are eight blocks in that packet so you might think oh, i don't want to start with eight blocks right so you might be better to start with a one just a one or start yeah. your hexagons ease yeah. yourself into it you mean. Yeah. yeah you could start yeah. your hexagons because you can sit and do those watching the telly yeah and then um you know they could be an ongoing thing and then by your machine you could be doing a block so mm. long as you keep it all together i think yeah. you've just that's all I, I would advise really yeah. yeah good advice so you could have your hexagons for your hand sewing of an exactly, evening exactly yeah and you maybe a machine piece star block for in the in daytime the day yeah it's beautifully broken down for you and all the instructions are clear concise you've got piecing instructions you've got well everything is fully explained so i think it's fair to say if you've never quilted before mm -hmm. you've got all the support you need within your pattern 
you've got all of your instructions within your pattern everything is set out so clearly so give it a go did you know that today is world um fight against prevarication day i did hear so you say that don't think about it yeah. crack on and do it <laughs> yeah get, make on. a quilt get, get on with it get make yeah. a quilt yeah right we're going to start with a demo we're going okay, to start okay. with a demo pat okay what can you show us i can show you lots uh, I'm going to start with the log cabin, and if you could turn the page, Mark. Um, I just want to. Oh. <laughs> I love it. And again, Mark. Come on, yeah, yeah. glasses of God. Come on, turn that page, okay, Mark. Okay, right. Thank this you. is what's on the table um, in front of me, and this is what I would do when I open my packet. If you place them all out where in front of you, in their size order, you can't go wrong. Okay, now that's famous last words. I know. But, you know, we're going to give it a try. So if you just put them on your table like this and work your way from the middle out. And Pat, if I'm going for the pre-cut quilt, this uh -huh. is exactly how it comes, isn't it? This yep. is the amount of trouble that Totally Patch go to on every kit. This is, this yeah. is a packet from one of the kits. Yeah, this yeah. is. I've, yeah. I've stolen one. Stolen. <laughs> <I have. laughs> but, this is, but this is what you're getting. Yeah. You're getting every single patch cut to the right size. Yeah. You can just set them out. That is that is yeah. not just the extra mile. That's an, a marathon done for you, <laughs> isn't it? So what I do then, I take the first one off the, this is the center square. So I take the first one um, off my pile. So what you notice on the pile now is that the um, the you've got a wrong side showing? So you know you've used that piece. Yep. This one hasn't got a wrong side. This is right. So I'm going to use that one next. Pop the one back that I picked up too, and then you know you can see exactly where you are as you work your way down. Now you need to line them up. Um, I haven't done any sewing. I've still got my little piece of fabric in there. Um, you line them up with your straight can we see that just about there just about there okay yep. Yep. line them up so that you've got a nice straight edge on there and mm -hmm. we're going to stitch now obviously we've done the cutting but you do have to stitch accurately mm -hmm. um, quarter of an inch seam mm -hmm. and if you don't if you're not sure about that you can always draw it on if you're not sure um, if you look at our YouTube videos it tells you exactly how, how to do that to check it on your machine and everything. How do I find your YouTube, Pat? Oh, I have no idea. Put totally Mark. patched. Just Put totally to patched in. <laughs> totally yeah, patched. And, and they'll, come up. And they'll yeah. come up. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Um, it's just that it's a, a, a nifty way of checking your own machine. Mm -hmm. I think it's on our website yeah, as well. Yeah. So. Um, uh, because you do have to stitch with a quarter inch seam. So I'm just stitching away. This is, this is also a really good reference point if the phone rings or someone rings the doorbell <laughs> or you've got someone coming around and you think, oh, I thought I had more I time didn't really want to see you. <laughs> I just yeah. don't answer the door, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> then you can stop and you can see where you've got to. It's a exactly. really good tip, actually. Ra rather than uh, where m what pieces go now. Sure. That sort of thing. Yeah. So that's our first piece I've put on and I've pressed it I finger pressed it away. Always press them out to the edge of your circle. So mm -hmm. press everything out. You know where you are then. It's mm -hmm. all going the mm -hmm. same way. So that's our first piece on. Now the important thing is that the that you work the same way round all the time. So mm -hmm. once you've got one, if you follow, like you can see there on my pat Mark's pattern there. Yeah. Um, I like step by step. You need to see what you're doing, don't yeah. you? Yeah, you do. So you need to put this one on first, like. I've got one half made here, so I'm looking here to see, make sure I'm going <laughs> the right way round, because once you've got one, you're okay. Mm -hmm. So and then we're going to put that one on there, like so. It'll fit perfectly. Right sides together, line up your seams at the top, at all three sides, stitch your quarter inch. And I suppose that's a good test as well, isn't it, Pat, when you said the next patch should fit perfectly. Yes. If it doesn't, it's not because Mark's cut it wrong, it's because your hopefully. seam allowance <laughs> is hopefully 99% of the time. <laughs> Excellent, good. Yeah. Slight margin of error there. <laughs> but chances are, if they don't fit, it's because your seam allowance is either too big or too yeah, small. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. stop, stop right now, yeah. thank you very much, yeah. Yeah. and make a change. Uh, I, because what you don't want to do and this is like now I've got my first piece on yep. my second piece there so now I'm going on to the other side the one side of these is all white it's a print fabric and then 
the other side is coloured. Mm -hmm. um, I heard you saying before about the jelly roll, like mm. it's it's up to you really. Uh, it, traditionally they're light and dark, mm -hmm. but for like this design, if you keep the one side all the same, it gives the log cabin a totally different look, yes. doesn't it? Yes, it does, yeah. completely. So, um, I think, oh, well, where do I go now? So you do two of your print, two of your white. So I've got none used up on this pile, so I'll take that one first. Now let's pretend I th I hadn't put them out like this, and I thought, oh yeah, this is the white one, here we go. Mm -hmm. Pick that up, it needs to go on here. Oh, it's a bit too long. Right. I'll cut a bit off. Uh, no. uh, Don't do that. No oh, cutting, says. No yeah, cutting yeah, off, yeah, yeah. because it is, it is exactly as you said, if they're wrong, it's probably because your seam allowance is incorrect. Yeah. Yeah. And or you've picked up the wrong strip. Oh, you've picked up the wrong example, strip. And if they're like this, mm -hmm. you really can't, you know, so... So I, if, for example, there was, you know, a few millimetres hanging off the edge... No. 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 Don't trim. <laughs> no, don't Unpick. Trim. Unpick, check your seam, go back. Because if you pick. start trimming, your block's not going to end up the gonna, right size. Never. No. No, don't never do it. Be. It can only go down. It can really. The, 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 the block's only going to be smaller. And they'll never be the same size as each other, which yeah, is well. the... And all of the other beautiful blocks. Take your time, you know, we're here, like you said, it's to enjoy the process. Yeah. It's not a race. You're yeah. making something beautiful to treasure. So don't, don't rush, you know, just go with the flow. Absolutely, I love that. Go with the flow. Yeah. Uh, collector in Northumberland, has put, I don't know if this is a typo or not, but I'm just going to go with it. She just says, <laughs> just bought the kit, see? Uh, <laughs> I love it. Thank I love you. it. Keep it simple. Yeah. Thank you. That's there it. There you go. Thank done. you. Job done. Thank you. I can relax right. for the rest of the day. Mark, can you just press that? Yep. I've been finger pressing up till now yep. because you don't want to, dis sometimes people press, which is another area of, you know. Contention. Yep. And it can take things out of shape. So uh, if you can, just you know, go perhaps three logs and then give it a press. Mm -hmm. So Mark, you're just going to press that quite nice and flat. Yeah. Now I should just point out that although Mark will do your cutting for you <laughs> if you buy the kit, he's not available for ironing. <laughs> Am I right, Mark? Correct. I yeah. have enough of my own at home. Yeah, there's yeah. Y there's no there's no check big enough. <laughs> or maybe there is, Mark. I don't know. Well, <laughs> no, not at the moment. <laughs> there's no washing. Too, too much work. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Now we're going to put the next piece on. So we've got two prints on, and now we go into our whites. So what you need to notice now, and this will continue once you've got three pieces on every time. If you're in another s stage of doubt of which to put on next. If you look at this seam here, across there, that's got no seams coming up it is. It's one complete piece of fabric. Mm -hmm. Here you've got one seam in that edge. Here you've got one seam in that edge. Here you've got two. And you always add the piece to the two. Okay. So you don't go the wrong way around. Got you. And, it, and that'll, uh, as time goes on, that'll just, you know, stay with us and mm. keep, uh, keep it, us in line if yeah. we've because you know it's when you when you haven't done a big quilt it's well it's bad enough if you have but like you, you're always at me you know I think you know you do something then you sew something wrong don't you, you think, yes how did why have I done that how have I done it I know yeah. because you place it right and yeah. then something seems to happen between there and the yeah. machine <laughs> and, and think, it gets turned around the wrong way yeah. it's, called a, it's called a gremlin <laughs> yeah the gremlin I, yeah, sure. I used, used to have a student and she called it a twizzle a twizzle. A twizzle between the yeah. machine and the ironing board. It's got twizzled. Yeah. So then you just press again and you keep going. Okay. So tell me a little bit about the company then. When did Totally Patch start and how and why and why did you get into patchwork, all that? Um, I It started when uh, my girls were little and they went to school so I thought I'm going to college. Mm -hmm. So I went to college. I'd already sewn but I'd never done any patchwork. I went to college actually to do food. Okay. Um, which I love. Good bonus. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I, so I went to college to do food, did that course, City and Guilds, and Patchwork and Quilting was then came into force as a City and Guilds. Uh, so I thought, oh, well, I'll carry on because you get into that learning thing. Mm. So I thought I'll carry on. So that's what I did. Um, 
I went, I bought a book and some fabric, took it home and thinking, I can sew, I know what I'm doing. Couldn't put it back together, not a clue. Cut the fabric up and thought, what, what am what, I going to do? Doing? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I thought, why can't I do this? I need to know, I need to learn more. So that's what I did. I learned more and one thing led to another and I started doing some teaching, which I never, I thought, I said I'd never do. Mm -hmm. So I did some teaching. I ended up teaching in City and Guilds and then um, started to do some workshops. People wanted it and then started pre-cutting kits mm -hmm. with a friend of mine, Diane, actually. And she, and because you could, I could see the gap in the market that people, you know, it, it was a good thing for a beginner, gets yeah. people interested. It's a real pain point for a lot of quilters, yeah, isn't it, it is. cutting out. And, it, and, it's and also it, it can be expensive to buy all of the equipment. I yeah. know they play, you, you sell the equipment, but some yeah. people, they want to try something before they yeah, yeah, have a purchase of invest in all the equipment. Yeah. 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 So um, from then, I just carried on teaching at college, carried on doing a few workshops. Um, life led to, to one thing and another. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, we eventually opened a shop, opened a shop yep. mm -hmm. which I don't know if you remember, but you came. I do, yeah. I do indeed. Yeah, yeah I taught at your shop in Beaudley. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Well, yes, yes absolutely. Um, yeah. uh, you know, after your, you know, burst onto the scene <laughs> with the uh, sewing bee. bee. That's right. Um, yeah. You came. We did a talk, which everybody loved, and we had a nice supper. And then your next day, you did a workshop. Yeah. yeah so we were yeah. in in the shop for ten years. Then weren't we? Yep. Yeah and um, thought this is crazy we were teaching morning afternoon and evening mm. and weekends and how we gonna we tried different things to slow down but you we lived on the premises as well mm. so we decided to take a step backwards and calm down a bit yep. and that didn't happen either that, that didn't, didn't happen, happen. so no. we got rid of the shop because it was very the rent was going up and up and up mm. so that's what we did did a bit of stuff from home did a bit of selling anywhere we could really shows shows lots of shows yep. yeah mm. and then um and then we, tv came along tv came TV, along the bright lights yeah <laughs> the well, first of all we turned it down thinking that's not for us we yes. don't want to do that, that. lured in by champagne <laughs> we offer a massage service here <laughs> we've got a full a la carte restaurant uh, I, I mean it's hard to say no i thought it said your name on the top of that list, it's a vending it? machine <laughs> It's a vending machine and it's me yeah. if you want a little, yeah. yeah. I haven't noticed. I'm actually a qualified masseur, but that's oh, another well, story. Okay. Let's close down now then and do that. <laughs> Joanne's <laughs> messaging saying, welcome Pat and Mark to Sewing Street. I've been a huge fan of Totally Patch for several years. I uh, hope you all have a fantastic time. Lots of kisses Thank you. Too. We've had Thanks, lots Joanne. of mes messages ourselves, we know Joanne, haven't we? Oh, we do know Joanne. It's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sue's, Sue's messaging with an important question. Um, obviously, you do an awful lot of ironing of fabric bricks before you start cutting and she just asks do you use anything um, in the fabrics as you're pressing like starch or something like that or iron fabric and that, nothing in them uh, iron and nothing in nothing them, nothing in them. No, no perfect starch, good, no, good to know is. Great, yeah. perfect. And, and or like lots of people ask, do you wash your fabrics? Yeah. We, well, obviously we don't as we yeah. start with loads of bolts. Yeah. Um, but I think it's they're better to use like this uh, they're, they've got a bit of finishing from the process they're crisp, aren't they? uh, and easy to work yeah. with and if you start I can remember when I started I was like I got peg all these things out on the line and they came in looking like dishcloths oh absolutely and you think oh I never pre-wash fabric no I, don't. I never pre-wash technology has moved on so much these yeah. days yeah, yeah. like when they used to they used to say it might run and you know dies yeah. they yeah. that doesn't happen it doesn't happen I think ironing yes yeah you iron your fabric before you before you cut it definitely yeah. and if there is any shrinkage at all in the fabric pressing it will yeah. tighten the weave yeah. won't it yeah and you're good to go and just need to let you know by the way that there are 25 of the kits in baskets we do not have anything like that left <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if Mad you want to make sure, I know, if you want to make sure, oh, I've got seven, I've got seven. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I've got seven. You do get all the fabrics for the quilt top and the binding as well. The binding's even pre-cut for you. You don't even have to cut your own binding. Binding. I mean, this is just fab. Um, you need wadding, you need backing. Yeah. And we'll talk about what you need in just a second. Quarter of the stock of the pattern on its own, by the way, has also checked out. So if you want the pattern on its own, and this would be a great scrap quilt too, wouldn't it? Lovely, yes. Dive really into nice. Scrap yeah. Lights and darks for the for the um, for the log cabins. Yeah. yeah. You can 
and, and tr I would try and keep the log cabins more or less the same if yep. you can that will give you the structure yeah then you can go mad with your scraps yep. in then um, and I like like the hexagons I've done as, as a heart mm -hmm. because it's different isn't it yeah 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 lovely um, really and nice. I love hexagons so you know that's the but you nice. can have a bit of any piecing in there as well, isn't it? Yeah, and it's lovely. I, it's just relaxing to do, isn't it? So, but you uh, can do any design with the hearts. Doesn't yeah. have to, uh, with the hexagon, it doesn't have to be a heart. So. Absolutely. No, if you didn't Absolutely. like it. Absolutely. If you didn't like the hexagon heart, no. of course what? they will. They love it. <laughs> <laughs> of course they love it. Who wouldn't I'm like it? I'm not saying it. they would. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> now, so don't I might not want to put that. the hexagon heart on the quilt. Well, you should. Just that's what I think. Just a, just, a, <laughs> just, a, just a minute now. Just a minute. <laughs> I, I need to calm the situation <laughs> down. Uh, right, as you it were. It's only over a hexagon. <laughs> Heaven only knows oh, yeah, what would happen yes. if we had a serious debate. Yeah. Uh, right, so now this is where I was, but I've got one that I've gone further. Lovely. So I haven't seen this since yesterday. Okay. So I think, oh, where do I go? What do I do? Where am I going next? Yeah. I'm going to go back to my own counter, but you can't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being a judge. No worries, it's fine. <laughs> um, so you look at it and you look for, do the, what I've told you to do. Mm -hmm. uh, You've got uh, one join in this edge. You've got one join in this edge, and your two none in here and two there, there and there. See, it's a brilliant what? tip. I've never heard that before, Pat. And I love it. Really? Yeah, yeah, I love it. Well, I, I thought, it. yeah, because I, you know, I, I, when I started, well, you make all the mistakes, don't you? And then when, you do. when you've gone round the wrong way yeah. two, two or three times, you think yeah, I've got to get this. Got the voice of experience. <laughs> you've got a lot got to get you this. Just, mm. So in, that's yeah. how I know, and then it does fit. So that's Perfect. great. Uh, so then you pop that on, and we've just got three, four more pieces, and we are done with our, our log cabin block. Ah. So, um, and Pat, mm -hmm. um, not to be controversial here, oh, but why uh, not? You don't pin. Oh, sorry, no, don't pin. Do you ever? <laughs> uh, very, you ever? very, very rarely. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with pinning. Sure. As long as you take them out as you go along. Yeah. There's even nothing wrong with tacking if you're not sure. Tack mm. it, see what it looks like. Just how confident you are yeah. in, yeah, the, in your sure. Yeah. And sure. you can also sew the whole quilt by hand. Oh, lovely. Yeah. How lovely would that be? Really nice. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah. We've had a couple of customers do previous quilts yeah. with doing by hand. Yeah. We've got a regular view yeah. of Beverly actually on it. There's a lot of hand sewing. Yeah. a lot of hand sewn quilts. And, yeah. And I mean, that is where you really connect with your fabrics. Yeah. So traditional, isn't it? Mm, yeah. And they look just gorgeous, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. They do. There is a different feel to a hand Absolutely, quilt. yeah. Yeah. And um, I always hand quilt. Like, do I know. You? Yeah, I mean, we used to have a long arm. You could yeah, mark remember did well. One of your yeah, quilts. yeah, yeah. Um, but I always like to hand quilt. Yeah. But that's just preference. If you don't yeah. like to hand quilt, you can machine quilt. Especially with machines nowadays, they've got wider throats and everything, yeah. haven't they? So. Um, I do love a mixture, and I mean, in yeah. the quilt itself, there's a mixture of hand piecing and machine piecing. Yeah. There's some strip piecing in there as well, isn't there? Yeah. Um, you could do a mixture of hand quilting and machine quilting as well. Absolutely. Bring it all together. Yep. Yeah, why not? And. And Mark is an asset, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's okay. This is great. Practice, yeah. He doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't sit me with me when I'm sewing at home and do this. I don't. No. I'm no. true for that. Truth's coming out <laughs> now. I, I, He's too busy <laughs> in the other room doing the cutting. Sue says, "Oh, I love a real marriage. <laughs> <laughs> they do keep it real. They do keep it real. We do. Well, yes. No point not. Is the no, no. We can't. We can only be ourselves. Yeah, uh, exactly. We love it. We love it. You've got so many fans. We've had so many lovely messages. Thank this, you. If you've just joined us, this is Mark and Pat from Totally <laughs> Patched and. And uh, brand new guest. This is our fir the first time today. Certainly not your first time on telly. No. <laughs> We've done lots and lots of shopping telly before, haven't you? But first time here with us at Sewing Street, and we couldn't be more thrilled. And you've made us really welcome. Thank you. Yeah, it's Lovely hot. morning. Very relaxed. Very, very, very yeah. good. Good. Yeah. Did you have a biscoff? I did not have a Didn't biscoff. Maybe, maybe, I made, maybe um, in between. The next treat show, yourself. For the next show. Yeah. 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 Maybe. Um, so all we've got to do is add that last one on, and we're done. Um, so I I want to show something else if I can. Yes, please. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes, please. So you just repeat that eight times. 
and you're done and you're done but so if again you, that's something you might want to leave till like you've done two or three of the other packets yes yeah. just look at it make sure you're going round the same way yeah and then it'll all look nice and neat and then if you just pick them up and put them on top like this is what I did yesterday. I made part of one. Mm -hmm. You can see I've, I've turned over ones on the opposite side, mm -hmm. um, and then just put them all back out, yeah. and you're okay. Um, so you, you can have all that, Mark, if you Thank like. Thank you very much. Lovely. You get the scraps. Tidy up now, Mark. I'll get the scraps. Okay. Thank you. Good. <laughs> um, so I'll uh, have my <coughs> kit that I acquired. Stole. Princess Stole. has messaged in with a question for you, Pat. Okay. Uh, for both of you, in fact, to say, have you got any tips for getting the seam allowance consistent and the correct measurement when hand sewing, please? Morning all, loving the show. So keeping a consistent seam allowance when hand piecing. I would definitely draw it on. Mark it on. That's Me too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Mechanical nice sharp pencil. Yeah, nice sharp pencil. Yeah, um, and just draw it on yeah. with, and you know, just get your little, your rule, whatever type of rule you've got. Mark yeah. your quarter inch before you go and sit down and yeah. relax in the. Yeah, sun. you can buy quarter inch seam guides. Quite you can, like a yeah, little just a little thin ones. Yeah. Yeah, just mark your mark your seam allowance on. I've got three kits left. I've got three kits left. This is my last chance, I think, to show you the kit. Now, very quickly, because I know Pat's got another fab demo to show, you're getting the full kit from Totally Pat, lovingly pre-cut by Mark. So all the fabric pressed, cut out, not just in strips, but I think that could be an addition, <laughs> lovingly cut by Mark, just to stick I'm it on the front. I must give a shout out to Sarah, the daughter. She Our does daughter, help yeah. us all. Oh, oh yeah. Sarah. Sarah, yeah. So Sarah does help us all, yeah. Yes. We love you. Yeah, the truth's coming out now. <laughs> <Yeah>. Lovingly <laughs> cut by Sarah. Uh, a little no, bit of Mark. No, no. Just a minute, just a minute. <laughs> But everything pre-cut, so you can jump straight in with the sewing. Everything sorted as well into, if you like, lessons or weeks or sections. So all of the instructions for a particular block or a particular section in a bag with the pre-cut fabrics all in there. Don't mix them up. Don't muddle them up. Don't open more one pack yeah, at one a time. Yeah. Pack two. Pack three and so on. Absolutely perfect. Look, all your fabrics pre cut. There's your log cabins. You'll make eight of these. Here's your rising star. All pre cut. Your chain blocks with hourglass units in there as well. All pre. Look, even triangles, all pre cut. Absolutely. <laughs> Flat as a pancake, ready to sew. <laughs> Love it. Love it. All like beautiful it. quality motor fabrics. Which block would you start with, Pat, if you were a beginner? I would start with this one here. This is called the, what's it called? I can never remember the name of this. I can tell this you. This is the Quilting Ladies book. Quilting Ladies, the Quilting Ladies. Lady. Quilting Ladies. 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 Quilting Ladies. 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 No, I think it must have been a quilt group that. The Quilt Ladies block. Yeah, yeah that's the they, one. That they did themselves. Oh. Uh, these are half, it's just half square triangle blocks. Mm -hmm. So once you've done one, you can do all of them and yep. it's just the positioning of it. I think it is, is it, what, no, is it, it number is one? It is week one, it's pack one. We must have thought that earlier. Yeah, 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 definitely. And you just got to make one of them. Just one, yeah. Just you one. know, I think, I get the kit, but also, if you can, do a, your own scrappy version. Yeah, it'd be yeah. beautiful. Alongside. Yes. Yeah. You, yeah. you can it, also yeah. get instructions on their own. Get your scraps, get your fat quarters, get yeah. all your fabrics that you've been saving for yeah. something really special. Yeah. I'm going to concentrate now on instructions because the kit will sell out. Have we got one left? literally one left but well done everyone <laughs> thank you well everyone. i think we can thank call you. that a sellout well, yeah you're yeah. in charge you're in yeah. charge we can call that a sellout. well done congratulations <laughs> thank you. first thank big you. sellout um we've also got the instructions on their own pat and mark have called it a booklet i think a book is a more correct <laughs> term it's a tome it's a tome and it's a good thick watch because everything is so fully explained everything is so detailed in there which means your hand is held from start to finish everything is set out photographed beautifully nothing's left to chance and I love that because no one wants to have to sit there scratching their heads thinking what does this mean it's all set up and spiral bound which is a joy isn't it because you can just lay it out and work and we don't um back to back pages either because sometimes I think 
you know, it, it, it distracts the front. You, you've got a clear yes. view of what you're yes. doing. You can always m make notes on the back if you want to. I like that. that so there's plenty of, you know, we, ne we never back to back, do we? No, the other thing you do is you take photographs as you oh, I do. do each mm. process through mm. the step by step. Yeah. So you don't have a start picture Very. and an end <laughs> picture. Right. You can relate to the picture Every to step. see where you, yeah. yes. you are. Does mine look yes. like yours? Yes. If it doesn't. Confidence builder. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Love it. Pat, you're going to show something else. Yes. So this is the, I just wanted to show you the way the centre comes together. So, um, sorry, I, yep. I, I just whipped over here then before. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's made of a central block. Like it looks very complex and really isn't. So it's made of a central block. Um, where am I? Here, there. So there is your block, that one, mm -hmm. which is this one. Yep. Okay. And without this bit here, it looks nothing. But when you add this bit onto the bottom, mm. it just gives the whole design. And I have to say, this was Mark's idea to put this in here. Nice. That's why we both have an in yeah. input. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Puts lays out on, on the bed and thinks, what do you think? I think, oh, yeah, I like that. But yeah. what about moving that one over there to get the balance? And yeah, yeah, for sure. Have a little conversation. Yeah. Two or brains and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So from one block, we just extended it with these, which I call, uh, it's called a crossing Ohio block. And I call crossing, this is the crossing rectangle unit. Uh -huh. Well, that caused Mark a lot of trouble in cutting because there's loads of pieces of paper that I write. I write mm -hmm. down the cutting so we've got the right amounts. And I was going, is it a middle cutting or is, is it, it a middle is it the cro crossing rectangle? The rectangle or, oh. <laughs> You're just scratching your head in it's a corner. Going, yeah, thinking what? She's I gone mad. I have to go and clarify at least. Do you get cups of tea times. brought to you while you're doing this? Or? Stronger. No. <laughs> no, stronger. <laughs> I love it. No. <laughs> so the central block you make up with individual squares okay. as you can see which are all beautifully cut yeah. as well yeah um come forward come forward come forward, come forward. Yeah. that's it uh but the um there's a lot of them in the rectangle crossing over corner thingies yeah. mm -hmm. a little um, bit so these are made in strips okay okay it's a bit of strip piecing a bit of yeah a bit of joining strips and this is the only place you have to cut really okay. So what I'm going to do, rather than join a whole row, because that's just boring watching me do that, um, is I've got two short pieces. Mm -hmm. So you just pop them together and you stitch a quarter inch seam down there. Mm -hmm. um, so I suppose if you've never done cutting before, then it would be good to work on some of the other blocks. And then when you get to this, you'll yeah. have your sewing off pat. Yeah. No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can do that little bit of cutting and it's just cutting segments. Yeah, but I'm gonna if you don't rotary cut at all, I'm gonna show you what to do to get over this and stage. It's, and it's confidence building as well because you've already made the block. Yeah. Do you think I can do this? Yeah, because you know what yeah. you're supposed to be producing, yeah. Yeah. don't you? Yeah. Um so we need to press this now and this is really important. You need to just press it towards the checky fabric I do, mm. but just nip your iron in there and press it nice and flat. Yeah. Okay. Away from you. Yeah. Like so. Nice and flat. So we don't want any little tucks, darling. No. Nope. Okay. Don't no. like a tuck. No. <laughs> don't do tucks. Don't, don't, don't do tucks. Do a good job now, Mark. There yeah. we go. <laughs> but uh, you need, it's not a fast, you, you need to make sure that's nice and flat. Yeah. yeah, it's absolutely pivotal, isn't it? Yeah. It's, a, it's a route to success. Uh, yeah. Princess Maya says, how many hours a day <laughs> does Mark spend cutting? Mark? <laughs> um, depends on how vitally quickly I have to do the actual yes. items. Yes. yes. But I would say probably eight. At least eight. Eight hours, ten hours a day. <laughs> So with a, with a break for lunch. you don't need to bother going to the gym then. <laughs> <laughs> with a break for lunch and all yeah, that sort yeah. of thing. Yeah, but sometimes it's about provided. Uh, I'll do that. You do and then he calls me for lunch. <laughs> and Sarah <laughs> calls me down for lunch. Yeah, yeah, and you get called down for lunch. Yeah. And you're doing ten hours of cutting. <laughs> I think this should be a union, Mark. <laughs> what, what am I My doing? Union. I mean I don't want to be a <laughs> troublemaker. I'm in the oh, I was upstairs. assuming you were just enjoying a little bit of hand no. sewing in the sunshine. Oh, I wish. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> you should see our house. <laughs> okay. So what we're gonna do now is we need to divide this into sections, one and a half inches. Now, don't panic because when you buy um, fabric on the bolt, you know, it's all supposed to be the same width, isn't it, really? But yeah. 
it isn't. No. So if you've got a little bit that's like, I cut this purposely, not exactly the same, you need to just straighten up the edge. So if you've got um, a, a rotary cutter and a rule, you'd put... That's only for this, this particular this strip, is this. So for these strips. Yeah, yeah, only yeah. for this section of yeah. this block, only that's the only one, yeah. yeah. So I would then cut across there and take that off. Now, if I didn't have that, I would take my pen, pencil, whichever you're marking with, something that comes out, and draw it onto there. And then I would take my scissors mm -hmm. and cut on the line. Yeah. So if you're going to do that. So you don't need rotary cutter. No, you don't. And, you know. It is easier with a bigger pair of scissors, though. It's easier with a shop. <laughs> do you want a bigger pair of scissors? No. I'm going to just. We've got everything here. We're so <laughs> straight. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm taking that edge off. So now I want to cut them into one and a half inch sections. So I put my rule on here. And what you need to do is to make, all oh, this is in this picture here. So can mm -hmm, you see that? Mm -hmm. um, all you have to do is line up, make sure you've got a line, horizontal line on this line you've stitched perfectly straight, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then you just cut away from you like so. Or you draw a line and yep. then you uh, then you um, cut the them. Scissors, yeah. And would you mark all of them out and then I cut would. them all? Yeah. 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 I go all the way along the line, cut them all afterwards, and then that's that. Hey, um, Mark, we've had hey. a marriage proposal. <laughs> More no, than spoken oh, for. Oh, it's already it's never happened before. Oh. <laughs> no one's ever asked me. <laughs> but Sue's keen. Um, oh. <clears throat> But also ask, do you, could you give lessons? Well, I, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll ask the question. We'll see. We'll see next time. So, um, so you cut them all across. Now, if you're scared by the length of these, you've got plenty of fabric. So you've got two strips of each. But it, it's, it's scarier to do a great big long cut uh, stitch because, you know, you sort of get, you know, drift off into and maybe you're... Uh, you know, sewing goes a bit squiffily. Is that a word? Squiffily? Yeah. I think it's a, a technical <laughs> um, word. We'll use it, yeah. But if you wanted to, you could cut across the fold and do them in two separate pieces because there's you. more than enough fabric to yeah. do that if the, the length oh, okay. of it scares yeah. you. Yeah. And, yeah. Fair and, enough. And you're only going to use a little smidgel at the end, aren't you? So? Yeah. 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 Uh, Sue's clarified, by the way. Oh, yeah. uh, she doesn't want to marry you. She doesn't want, want to marry you. She wants you to teach her husband. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes so much more sense. That's better, yeah. So much more sense. Yeah. And is actually a possibility. <laughs> could start a new line, isn't it? You could, yeah. Husband, you yeah. could go oh, yeah, out. Yeah. Husband yeah. quilting, yeah. Quilting, yeah, teaching yeah. Cut, husbands to cut for their wives is yeah. what she's getting yeah. at. Yeah. 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 Not yeah. just yeah. random people. Well, I'm, I'm, Sue's no, just walk around the streets and just everybody likes to learn how to cut. Sue's husband. In particular. I'm here for you. <laughs> Actually, no, uh, an yeah. old friend of mine, Val, um, her husband did all her cutting. He'd spent his whole career as an engineer, oh, right. could, yeah. could cut metal to the yeah. you know, thousandth of a millimetre, yeah. Yeah. and he did all her cutting for her. And we all used to think this is like the dream marriage. Exactly. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. yeah. There you go. Although he was always looking over his shoulder, <laughs> checking the accuracy stitching. of her sewing. I bet. So, you know, yeah. yin and yang. Go, it goes in a joint, a joint. That is joint, yeah. yeah, joint yeah. effort. Um, so when you've done this, uh, to make your little four patches, all you do, which are on the picture here, yeah, is you. So they like this when you chop, 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 and then turn it round, twizzle, and we want these seams to join. And because you've pressed it all towards the checky fabric, they will lock together like so. Got so you. if you can see it like that. It's no, nowhere near the, the join, is it? Is, can you see that, Mark? Yep. Yep, like so. Yeah. If you click it along so it clicks in, you can say you're clicking your seams or you're butting your seams yeah, against you each other. Feel it. You, you, yeah. you can, can't yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. Just with you. So if you wanted to, you could put a pin in. Um, which, you know, if you're at all nervous, put a pin in, you know. I personally think it can distort yeah. a join like that. If it's that, properly butted, you're better yeah. off just going straight to your machine. Yeah. And 
especially if you can, you know, have a good, you, know, you, don't, you don't need much space to sew. I was just about to say, it's, it's, it's a small enough piece with a pin in to worry about taking out in time before the needle as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's just one more thing you've got to try and do yeah. Yeah. in that small piece of fabric. Yeah. Yeah. And um, like I, <laughs> I've got a sewing room with lots of stuff in, lots of fabric, lots of everything. And I sew on the end of my table here mm -hmm. with my iron here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you can't get to the rest of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the table's just covered with stuff. All right, don't make me come over there again. <laughs> come on. So, I, know, I know the limit. I'll, I'll stop there. So you can see, because it's it, it, we've pressed it correctly, which it always tells you which way to press, um, butted together, you've got a perfect seam in the middle, and that's what we're aiming for. If it wasn't, you know, quite right, you know, you could undo it and do it again, but, you know, I, I'm, it's, it's a handcraft, isn't it? So if you're a little bit stitch out, you know, mm. the world's mm. not going to end. And in the big picture of the actual quilt. Yes, then yes, you're of not course. Gonna see that yeah. No, it's true. Little, yeah. I, I know, I, I, I love accuracy and detail. Me too. But don't gaze into your navel. Exactly. Yeah, don't it's, get too hooked up yeah, on it. Yeah, it's supposed to be fun. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So then, I think you both proved that it is. <laughs> Absolutely. We and tried. you know, if you've gone for one of the pre cut kits, you've taken out what is for often the pain point for a lot of quilters. Yeah. Um, however, if you love cutting, I actually really enjoy it. I put the radio on, a bit yeah. of music, something so do I like that. I enjoy cutting as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and just so long as you know you're absolutely clear what you're going to cut out. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I tend to just, if I'm listening to music, I am cutting one thing out and it might be two and a half inch strips. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I'm doing detailed, then yeah. silence. I is sometimes what I need. have to say to Mark because he likes an audio book. Yeah. Well, you can get lost in the book, can't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. So we yeah. just select the cutting yeah. to yeah. the one yeah. he's listening to. Do you to? draw him back to the real job? Pat? He does, <laughs> he does it too. He does it himself, really. Yeah. 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 Do, do you want to get too involved in a murder mystery? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Literally you get at that point. Involved in the book, and think. Oh no. Oh. Oh. No. oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 love it, love it. Okay, so that's our little demo. Checkerboard. Simple as yep. that. Checkerboard. Yep. Simple yep. as that. And then it's just make. Can you go back to the front, darling? Do you do that as well? You, you do that. Yeah, you just position too. them yeah. differently in the. I'm just saying because they really do that bit. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Do you know just how the different. darling? Because I'm hearing, <laughs> I'm hearing myself in you, Pat, <laughs> an awful lot. And if Charlie was here now, he'd, he'd be, be nodding vigorously. Uh, and you well. really want something to do? You just throw a darling in at the yeah, end. It's like that's, now. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> So all you're doing in yeah, this block darling. is joining these gorgeous little four patches mm -hmm. with different size pieces yeah. that give you the shape into the middle of the quilt. Perfect, perfect. Simple. Simple, easy, Yeah, yeah. very effective yeah. and a beautifully designed whole quilt, you know. I, 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 I love a sampler, mm -hmm. but I love them more when I've got an interesting layout, yes. an exciting yeah, layout, me too. rather than just rows with sashing in between. This is an exciting sampler quilt, yeah. loads to learn, loads to explore and enjoy, refine your techniques, learn something new and make a beautiful heirloom quilt. Now, if you want the pattern book, on its own, 22.50, we don't have many left. We're in teens left now, I think. Yeah, um, many, many more of these in baskets. 22.50, all set out in a very logical order. So you'll concentrate on a block or a setting part complete it before you move on I love that it kind of keeps you in check keeps you in order great for using up your scraps fat quarters sorry if we haven't got to all of your messages we've been absolutely inundated um, so much love for Pat and Mark from Totally Patched um, their very first show here on Sewing Street uh, we do have another hour with you both don't we at we 11 yep. which can't come soon enough frankly but a gorgeous <laughs> hour good um, now um, we Say again, sorry. Oh yeah, so so in the next hour, for example, we've got what we've called the love cushion. We'll just re rename your projects for That's you. That's fine. At 11, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> home is where love begins. Um, all 
pre-cut, mm -hmm. everything's cut out for you. You just dive straight in with the sewing and the stitching. My lovely friend Hilary will be all over this. I know this will be exactly her style. <laughs> just gorgeous. So we've got the um, Home is Where Love Begins cushions. We've also got these fabulous Texas Star cushions with two different options, all cut for you. Um, or instructions on their own. Uh, we've also got these apps. Oh, lost one. I'll show you the other one. It's fine. I'm dropping everything today, <laughs> um, apart from the ball, which I feel I'm tossing in the air and keeping going. <laughs> um, the gorgeous bag as well. Again, a pattern on its own if you want, but also a pre-cut kit that you can just dive straight into. And as if by magic, <laughs> look at that. I am absolutely blessed, aren't I? There's a dark and light version as well. All coming up at 11, can't wait. Can't Thank wait. You. Can't wait Thanks for your first amazing hour. Both. Thank you very much. Absolutely terrific. Enjoyed Congratulations it. on sell out. Thank you. And um, enjoy a break. Okay. Um, have a massage. They're okay, free. Gonna... Everything's free. Okay, and um, okay. I'll see you at 11. Pat and Mark, everybody. Bye. Right. We Bye. need to go to um, a little break. Um, I've got to do some work in the next hour. I've got uh, Charming Circles, uh, which I'll be showing you how to do in the next hour. I'll see you after this. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy Alan a present. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day.
Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Oh, what an hour that was. I've got a great hour for you now though too. I've got some fab tools and books and it is of course uh, National Reader Book Day. So books are important. But I wanna start with this, which is the Charming Circles uh, Ruler from June Taylor. Now I do love anything that uses charm squares. Uh, this is perfect for using with charm squares. It's also perfect for using with denim, either recycled or off the bolt, which is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be showing you how to use this ruler um, in just a moment, but look at these lovely projects that you can make. There's a fabulous quilt, there's a gorgeous cushion, and also a really fab tote bag as well. And um, you can find project instructions for these on the June Taylor website. So definitely worth having a look at that. Um, so what you're getting there is you're getting the template, uh, the circle template to create uh, these squares. And this is a variation of Japanese folded patchwork. Um, so just to show you inside. Now, um, when you open the packet, the ruler's actually got a paper backing on it, okay? Um, so don't be alarmed. I remember once getting an email from somebody who had got there and said, oh, it doesn't look like yours, I can't see through it. Um, and it was because it's got like a sort of protective paper on it, but that just peels off and uh, then you're good to go. All right, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the circle uh, template. You can rotary cut around this circle. You've also got um, slotted lines here that you can use to mark the position of your top squares, your charm squares. You can also use it for marking out squares that you then scissor cut that will fit perfectly inside your circle. You get full instructions for how to uh, use the template within. Great instructions, really thorough. Um, you've also got the option of going onto the June Taylor website and finding the project instructions for the quilt, the bag, the cushion as well. So great value. Um, I'm using some uh, denim that I've cut out. Uh, but you could also use recycled denim, so jeans, jackets, something like that that you've got, um, or a different fabric altogether. Um, and we're gonna use charm squares as well. So I'll show you how to do that in just a few minutes. Uh, 18 99 for that, by the way. Now, um, if you missed out on the five inch charm squares earlier on that we had those brand new K facet, uh, did you know um, that you can cut the 10 inch down into four charm packs. Um, I've got rainbow here. I've only got single figures though. Um, it's brand new today and already we're down to single figures and lots of them we've sold out of. This is rainbow. So you get 42 10 inch squares and uh, I'm thrilled to say that you get some repeats, which I love because it does help with balance in a quilt if you've got repeats. Um, and literally, if you wanted charm squares out of these, just cut them nice and accurately into quarters and you'll end up with four charm packs. Um, it's actually um, a, a much more economical way of, of buying charm packs price-wise because um, f you get four out of this, which is um, quite a bit less than buying four separate charm packs. Yeah. Um, just remember when you do cut out, I, if I'm ever cutting from a, a layer cake or a 10 inch stacker, something like that, I do tend to grab two rulers 
So if I want to cut five inch squares, I will put two rulers butted up against each other down the middle just to make sure that I have got five inches on either side. Because I, like most people, when I'm doing my cutting, do tend to be either a little skimpy or a little generous with my cuts. And if you're a little bit generous, then the piece that you've got left won't be five inches. So two rulers together, when you make that first, you know, and then separate them out and then do your cut and you know that you've got five inches on both sides. Just a little tip there. So this rainbow, I think is perfect for anybody like me that can't really commit to one particular color, that loves all the colors and wants a bit of everything. You've got a bit of everything in here. You've got the gorgeous, uh, reds, pinks, oranges, four left, just four left. Uh, those golds, you've got greens, right through deep emeralds, into the blues now. And already you can start seeing some green in there, some purple in there, some pink as well. And then right through to those deepest to darkest purples at the back. I mean, it's a stunning collection of 42 10 inch squares. So many things you can do with a 10 inch square as well. You can cut it into four, two and a half inch wide strips. You can cut obviously lots of one and a half inch strips or squares from it. You can cut four, uh, four inch or four and a half inch circles, one large nine and a half inch circle. Uh, you can cut equilateral triangles. You could do half square triangles. So actually yesterday, I wonder if I've got them handy. Yes, I do. Yesterday, I just grabbed two squares, two contrasting squares, put them right sides together, sewed all around the outside edge, and then cut on both diagonals. I did spray starch my fabrics first, just to give them a bit of extra handle. And then trim them down into half square triangles. And look, just a really simple idea. This was two charm squares, placed together and then one side um, sewn around I actually trimmed this down I trimmed these down to six inch squares and to create this beautiful large pinwheel block yeah so you can do that too loads you can do with 10 inch charm squares two left though now that's it um, and then we've also got Meadow, the Meadow collection. And this is if you can commit to a colour, but you still want all of the different shades and permutations of that colour, and green is the colour, then this one's for you. So right from the brightest, zingiest citrus limes and kiwi and leaf, and chartreuse, delicious pattern and texture, mossy, leafy, forest greens. And then through into those colors that make me think of the Amazon, tropical rainforests, exotic frogs and parrots, uh, just gorgeous, deep, bright color, emeralds, jewel bright, absolutely gorgeous. So to some extent, this shades through from lightest to darkest, um, just glorious. There's your lightest, oops, and there's your darkest shades. So you can see it's almost starting at yellow green right through to this really deep, almost blue green at the end. Absolutely fab. What a beautiful collection, uh, $47.99. Phenomenal value actually, because you get 42 and these are brand new. Louise says, if you have two of each design, you could just cut one of the design into four and then have another left at 10 inch. That's a great tip, Louise. So you've got your charm squares and you've got your 10 inch, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Or cut some of them into two and a half inch strips. And then you can use those perhaps for those strip piecing blocks that, oh gosh, I love, I can't get enough of. Yeah, loads of opportunities. Okay, I'm gonna show you the denims that I've got. And then I'm gonna go over and show you that demo of the Charming Circles ruler, which I can't wait for. 
Let's start with the darkest. Now this is a lovely light, what I would call a shirting weight denim. So you could make a blouse from this, a shirt from this, and it would be lovely used within a patchwork quilt, which is what I'm going to be using it for. Uh, so this is our darkest denim. Uh, Width-wise, I'm going to measure this. You're getting half a metre, or you're buying it by the half a metre. I think it's 46 inches wide. Oh, no, oh, 146, uh, 60 inches wide. That's great. Perfect for dressmaking then. And look, really lovely, soft, delicious handle. Very much like the sort of weight of quilt weight cotton. So you could definitely mix these together. Now if I'm using denim in a quilt, maybe I would pre-wash this. I'm not a pre-washer, but because it's not quilt weight cotton, I might be inclined just to pre-wash the yardage, not pre-wash my, my quilt weight cottons, and then I'd start to cut and sew. That would be, that would be my method. Um, gorgeous, that's the dark. That's the dark. Um, remember, it's cut to order. So if you want three and a half yards, uh, three and a half meters rather for dressmaking, seven units, it'll all come as one piece. Right, the medium denim is next. Um, again, just buttery soft, absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to use this colour actually for my demo, so I've already cut into this. It's lovely, isn't it? And you see this sort of white um, edge to it. This is where um, it's, it's a shot woven fabric really, um, chambray denim. Uh, so you've got white warp and then a blue weft and woven together it creates this gorgeous kind of, I don't know, it kind of, the way the light hits denim you get that different colour variation. Do you see? It's just, it's lovely. It's lovely. Really mixes well with quilt weight cotton as well. Perfect weight for shirts and blouses and dresses. That's our medium. And then our lightest. Was that our. Do you know, I've got a feeling that might have been our lightest one I just showed you. That was ending 7 1. That's the lightest. I think it's the lightest, yeah. Well, let me just show you the three together. Because I don't know, what do you think? That's the lightest then? Yeah, okay, that is the lightest, fair enough. All right, so this is the lightest. There's not much variation between our medium and our light, I think it's fair to say. Yes, yes. But that for me is a very summery colour to wear, you know, with tan brown. Tan brown leather accessories, brown belt, brown boots or shoes, lovely sandals, really nice. That's a holiday denim for me. Yeah, these would all be lovely to make a bag out of and I would use the Charming Circles template. Shall I show you how to use it? Should we do it? Let's do it. Come on, come with me. Right, lots of you going for this. Let me show you what all the fuss is about. Um, just need to grab my rotary cutter as well. A moment, please. Now, I would recommend, if you're going for this, um, that you use a small rotary cutter. There was another caddy under there. Oh, is it over there? Maybe it's already over there. Let's have a look and see. Nope. Nope, my, gray, my little grey caddy. Huh. Anyway, smaller, smaller um, rotary. Ah, thank you. Do you know, I, I'm definitely a man, aren't I? <laughs> it was there. I don't look. Right, yeah, so I've used a really small rotary cutter. You don't have to use a really small rotary cutter. And if you don't want to use a rotary cutter at all, you don't have to. You can draw around the circle and then cut it out if you prefer. Um, actually, Kat, there is a little bit of blue denim over there as well. Would you mind just grabbing it for me? Um, it's been too organised, isn't it? Just a little bit of the light blue denim. Um, so you could draw around it if you wanted to and then cut it out with scissors. 
Um, but I'm going to rotary cut it. That's it. Perfect. Yeah, just have all of those. Thanks. So I think there is a bit of fabric in here, which is just the right size. Yes, there we go. Right. So I'm going to give the fabric a little iron. Now you can cut up to, I would cut four layers at a time. I wouldn't cut more than that personally. So I just think if you're cutting a curved template, a smaller rotary cutter is easy to get around. You can get around this with a 45 mil, but I would go 28. This is actually, I think, a 14 or a 17 mil rotary cutter. But so um, pop your template on top. I'm just going to scooch it over into the corner so that I don't waste fabric. And then we'll cut around. It's a little bit squeaky, isn't it? Yeah. So I'll just turn, yes, just oops, turn my board around a little bit. This is where rotating cutting mats are so useful when you're working with templates because obviously they usually have multiple more complex sides and the job is just made a lot, lot easier. And you can see how easily that small rotary cutter is going around the template and just creating a perfect circle. Right, so I've got my circle cut out. Um, now, if you want to, at this point, you can use on the wrong side of the template. So I'm just grabbing a pencil now, and you can mark the position of your square. This will help you get your square perfectly lined up. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to, but I'm belt and braces, anything I can do to improve my accuracy, I, I will take, okay? Um, so once you've done that, you're gonna use some charm squares. Now, I've actually cut down a layer cake square um, into four, okay? So I'm gonna use two from one and two from the other, all right. So next step, I'm going to place these. Now, at this point, if you've got something like some 505 basting spray, um, this is the perfect time to use it for something that isn't layering a quilt together, because uh, <laughs> it does have other uses. Thank you. Is this the opened? Awesome. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay out, I'm going to do four of these in one go. So I'm going to lay out my four circles and these form, these not only form the outer part of the quilt, they also form the back of the quilt as well. So I'll lay those down and then what I'm going to do is just give my squares just a little light spray. And then I've got my placement lines on there. I'm going to lay that down just using the small can there, 250 mils. We'll pop the details on screen for that. Um, 500 mil is better value, you know. You're getting double the amount for less than double the price. Lay that one down as well. Obviously make sure that you're nowhere near anything precious when you're spraying this glue. Ideally, I would do this outside it's pretty well ventilated in here and I'm certainly not spraying this anywhere near Pattern Mark's gorgeous quilt that's hanging behind me. Spraying in quite the opposite direction. Uh, there we go. Right, so I've got those all placed and they're all stuck down. So my next job is to start sewing these together. Now, if you're making a big quilt or you're doing lots of rows, what you would do is you would sew these together in long rows, okay? But I'm gonna just sew four together. So what you'll do is you're going to put these right side to right side on the denim. I mean, to be honest with you, this denim is so lovely on both sides. You could actually conceivably use both sides yeah yeah I think I would use both sides is that a little bit Janet Claire yeah I love both sides now I love both sides now right okay so I'm just going to line that up um, and I'm going to sew right next to the edge now you do get full instructions there's a YouTube video as well. 
so you know we've got it all going on so those two are sewn together okay done and dusted I'm going to do the same with these two as well and all I'm doing here is just making sure that I've got my squares lined up as well as my circles you know and then I'm using just the edge of my charm square now it doesn't matter if your stitching goes a tiny little bit onto the um, charm square that's okay that's fine yeah just i was just reading a quick message actually all i'm doing now i'm just pressing these circles whoa look at that love that this is going to come together isn't it loving this you can if you want to by the way put a bit of batting behind the squares i would go very very slightly smaller um than than the square so like four and a half inch square something like that so what i'm going to do now is lay my two rows together and again you want to line up the circles but as best you can you also want to line up the squares and then i'm going to stitch across that this is great fun i'm loving doing this And it's a really nice sort of mixed fabric approach, which is really rather refreshing. So then I'm going to grab my ironing surface and I'm going to iron these petals outwards. Now, there are a couple of different options for finishing this. Um, you can either take a kind of casual and um, slightly rough edged approach which is definitely what I'm going to be uh, going for and that is to sew really close to the edge of the petals with a straight stitch okay but you could also do a blanket stitch you could use a zigzag if you wanted a kind of neater finish to those edges now at the moment i've only pressed open this part but actually on your outside edge to if you like square it off what you need to do is fold in all of the edges and press them so i'm going to move this out of the way slightly bring my ironing board over and do that too um, obviously you wouldn't do that until you were kind of ready to put the whole quilt together and can I just show you look at the back so the back is all the right side of my denim no seams you know so you've got a light a light fabric here that you're making effectively two-sided fabric but if you wanted to you could add quilt batting if you wanted to make this more of a quilt so I'm just folding each of these in I, I love it as it is actually I love it as it is it's it's fab and I think as well if I was making this at home I might be inclined to grab things like all three different colors of denim and mix them match them either in a sort of ordered way or in a random way I might prefer um, I just really sort of enjoy those different tones of denim or if you're using recycled denim well again you know there'll be lots of color variation even in one garment depending on how it's worn and how it's sort of aged so I'll keep going like this you could make a gorgeous table runner couldn't you um, equally if you didn't want the petals around the outside edge or you did but you wanted a, a, a sort of a bound edge you could bind this whole thing either with ready-made bias binding or you could do a single or a double fold binding like you would on a quilt so just pressing the last couple of petals in and then I'm going to get to the stitching and as I say I'm going to use a straight stitch for this 
I also think on a bag I would get in there with some covered buttons and so for example in the center where the petals all come together I would go with covered buttons um, partly mostly because they look fab and also because if there isn't an absolutely perfect join in the center well n not to worry you know not to worry right let's do a bit of sewing so now I'm not using any pins here you could if you wanted to but I'm not I'm not going to because I'm daring really daring aren't I and what I'm doing is I'm sewing about an eighth of an inch in from the edge you don't need to use a walking foot for this I don't think um, and what I'm doing is I'm just going to sew all the way around the outside first, I think. I think there's almost certainly a path that you could take which you could get round every single one of these curves in one go, but I'm not up for it today. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not into maths today. I'm just into fun sewing, so that's what I'm going to concentrate on. And obviously at home you're going to take lots of time to sew this really accurately and neatly. I'm setting myself up aren't I here? <laughs> I'm just telling you. Oops. And actually I'm not going to go all the way around the edge because that's going to be a bit boring. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew around some of these petals just to give you an idea of how it will look oh we've got some finished images that will be lovely oh now of course once you wash your bag your cushion your quilt or if you throw it in the tumble dryer, what will happen is those edges of your denim will all start to fluff up in the most attractive way, like these. Check that out. Ooh, loving those. They look absolutely stunning. So just finishing out these petals. I think as well you could hand stitch these. Oh, show us what, what what else we could make. Come on, let's have a look. Oh, a quilt on a bench. That's lovely. Yeah, no, no wadding, no backing. Your backing actually is part of your square, isn't it? It's all in one. It's a kind of quilt as you go. And they've mixed their denims as well. Absolutely gorgeous. A message from Karen. Hi all, I made a bag like this with a pair of old white jeans for my granddaughter and she loves it. I'm loving it too. Beverly is messaged in as well. She says, hi Stuart, I used my family's old jeans and made four throws for our garden chairs. Great conversation pieces. I love that. I love that. This is a really cool effect. I'm just pressing in the outer edges because I haven't sewn all of them. But you can see it doesn't take that long. How cool is that? Absolutely, absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Isn't that gorgeous? And set on point, hello, hello. I could imagine doing a quilt like that. I need to finish sewing around the edges now. I want to finish this. Yeah. I'll tell you what I've got. I haven't got a little doll, but I've got a little doll bed. And it's a little like iron bedstead with a little mattress. And I keep, and it's got, it came with a little quilt, but, but I keep on meaning to make a little doll quilt to go on it. But the thing is, little miniature quilts take at least as long as full-size bed quilts to make. They are not a quick make. This is, so maybe I could put this on. I am sewing quite roughly, forgive me for that. I made a bag like this 20 years ago and I'm still using it. That's Susan in the West Midlands, love that. It, denim, you see, denim, so hard wearing. 
Denim, 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 denim. Join in. Da 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 da. Bottom, bottom. There we go. Oops. I've pretty much, yeah, pretty much done it. All done. Bit rough and ready today, but at home you'll take longer. But it gives you the idea. And then on the back. Ho oh, ho, look at that. You've got your gorgeous petal stitching on the back as well. Love it. A little bit of a tuck there. Obviously, take a bit more time. It's live telly. It looks like Cathedral Window, Stuart. Exactly, it, exactly. You know, uh, what do you do with five inch charm packs? Um, let's make a bag. Uh, Melanie says, hi Stuart, how much denim do you think you need to use with the templates? Um, well, it depends what size quilt you want to make. Um, I, that, that was about a fat quarter of denim to cut out. Well, I cut, I cut, I cut five circles out of a fat quarter so you'd get 10 for half a meter of fabric so because it's on the front of your quilt but it's also the back of your quilt you use more than you'd think but um yeah so so for even for a bag i would probably go with about a meter and a half of the denim plus your charm squares and then that would make a, a good bag and things like the shoulder strap as well Yeah, metre and a half, three units. Yeah, for a bag, for a bag. I do love these inspiring pictures though. They are gorgeous, aren't, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Right, lovely. Well, well done if you managed to get yours. A message across the bottom made this with old jeans and Christmas material. That's a nice idea for a table runner as a Christmas present last year, June in Northumberland. I love that. What, that's a different combo, isn't it? Using the denim and the Christmas fabrics together. But actually, I tell you what, Christmas um, like plaids, used plaids, autumn or Christmassy plaids, you know, kind of lumberjack style with denim because it's like lumberjack shirt and lumberjack jeans together very nice very sort of log cabin isn't it very northwards gorgeous love that june love that um now just want to mention the 505 spray um 505 spray is one of my hero products i have about a handful five hero products 505 is definitely in there now, 250 millimeter cans. <laughs> I burnt myself and it's a little bit sore, sorry. The steam, no, it was steam from some potatoes. I need some Savlon. Um, yeah, this is the 505, 250 mil can. So this is the small can. So 7.99 for that. Great value, great product, saves so much time pinning a quilt together. Um, but then I've got the 500 mil can, which is 13.99. So two of these would be just under 16. So you're saving about two pounds. You're saving about two pounds by buying the larger can. I must admit, I do tend to buy the larger cans, but if I can only get the smaller cans, I, I you know, I, I wouldn't bulk at it because, because it's such an important product, such an important tool in my workshop. And I also use it a lot for things like bag making as well, or even placemats, cushions. I don't pin anything together. You know, when I'm quilting, I spray based. Always spray this onto your batting, by the way, rather than your fabric. So have your batting facing up, lay your quilt backing onto it, peel it back and then spray and then smooth your backing on and then do flip it over, put the top on and then peel the topping back and spray the, the batting. Um, also, I use 505 when I'm using things like hard to fuse interfacings. 
so um, Deckerville is hard to fuse. So I tend to use 505. Um, I obviously, throughout the construction of a bag, I will iron a piece repeatedly and that does fuse everything together. But for speed, I tend to spray base. I'll even use it with interfacing sometimes. If I haven't got time or I don't want to iron everything on, I'll spritz everything with 505, stick the interfacing down and crack straight on. Or even just to, so you can double up on the cutting, you know, it just makes things quicker and easier. Over half the stock of this is in baskets already checked out. So if you want some 505, the choice is 500 mil can at 13.99. That's for 500 mils, or 505 in a 250 mil can. Yeah, great. 7.99 for a 250 mil. I do get asked, by the way, quite a lot. Well, how many quilts can I do with a can? And again, it is a very, you know, how long's a piece of string? How big's the quilt? But I would say even like a decent size, like double queen size quilt, you know, at least a couple of quilts, fusing the whole thing together. And the, the question I ask myself is how much time will it save me? Well, how long does it take to properly pin out or baste a queen size quilt? For me and Charlie working together, about four hours if we're pinning, about four hours. With 505, probably less than an hour. So in real terms, for one person, it might take me seven or eight hours to pin out a whole quilt. Because if you're using safety pins to pin your quilt together, you should not be able to get your fist, a clenched fist, anywhere on your quilt surface without touching a pin. Now, honestly, ask yourself the question, when you pin out your quilt, do you, do you put pins that close together? Do you get slippage and slidage and re rucks and tucks while you're quilting? Well, if you use 505, you won't, and it will take you about a quarter of the time to put your quilt together. So I think it's worth it. Use a well-ventilated uh, well room outside if you can. Well-ventilated room. Make sure the pets are in another room when you're doing this, just because you're spraying an adhesive, you know? And um, if you're doing it on the dining table, you want to protect the dining table surface. So if you've got something like an oil cloth, tablecloth, put that on, or even just a regular tablecloth and then chuck it in the wash. And um, when you wash your quilts, by the way, all of that fusible is washed away. Um, it's not going to damage your quilt, but it'll wash away. And similarly, when you use it for basting your quilt together, it's not going to gum up your needle unless you spray loads in one spot and it's kind of wet and then you're going straight to and it's all damp in your fingers the best way to use this is 12 to 15 inches which is this is 15 inches from your quilt surface you know but so often i see this because people don't want to get the spray everywhere but actually you know deal with that problem you know, sorry, I was jumping up and down there. Deal, deal with that problem, okay? Rather than saying, okay, well, I'll spray it from here then. Because what you will end up with if you do this is concentrated areas of wetness and other areas that have no spray at all. 15 inches and it's a light mist over the surface of the quilt. And doing it like that, you will get the most perfect basted quilt. It's serious business putting a quilt together, Hannah. She says, you look so serious doing that. It is serious, Hannah. It is serious. <laughs> it's also fun. Are you having fun? Yes. Come on. Good. <laughs> right. Let's do thread magic. Let's do thread magic. I've got it right here. Right. So thread magic is a thread conditioner. Okay. Let me show you what you get. So, um, no, no. So here's your thread magic. Ooh, let's get it out, right. Okay, so it's a thread conditioner. Um, it's not beeswax. This is not beeswax. This is a formulation. Um, so if you're a vegan, if you have an allergy, this is not beeswax. Um, and so what you do, let's grab a bit of thread.
So let's grab some thread. And it doesn't matter what, what kind of thread you're using. It could be polyester, it could be co uh, cotton, it could be a blend. Um, it could be linen thread, love linen thread. It could be hand quilting thread. And so what you want to do is you can see there are little um, almost castellations all the way around the edge. Okay, so what you're going to do is you want to just sit your thread through and you're just going to pull your thread. Now it's easiest to do this straight off the reel, okay, before you actually cut it. But you just slide the whole thing through the wax, okay? Well, it's not wax, but the, the thread conditioner. And what it does is it coats the thread. Now you can feel it, but all it feels like is it just, the thread feels a bit like hair that's got been conditioned, if you know what I mean, you, where you can sort of feel it. Um, it just feels stronger, protected, more coated and less likely to tangle. So in that sense, very much like a hair conditioner. This end is not conditioned and it also reduces drag. So when you're sewing, your thread is going to pull through your quilt sandwich, your English paper piecing, when you're hand sewing the binding to the back of a quilt, it's going to glide through your fabric and your quilt sandwich more easily. It's also going to be um, much, much less likely to tangle. And that's something I ever seem to have a real problem with, with um, unconditioned thread, is that I'm always getting into tangles and knots and then the thread ends up breaking and, and it's a bit of a hot mess. Um, so thread conditioner, absolutely fantastic. Um, you can use this for machine sewing as well if you want to. You can kind of fix these um, on the top of your sewing machine so that your thread runs through the machine as you're sewing. Great stuff, great stuff. Right, uh, I've got some books. It is World Reader Book Day. Let's do the block book. Right, so this is the skill building quick and easy block tool. There's 110 quilt blocks in here in five different sizes. So this is like a reference book um, by Debbie Rogers. Ring bound inside. Okay, so for example, ooh, this is a fun one, I like this. It's called It's a Wrap. So nice, um, nice scrap quilt this. So you've got different rectangles and squares. You've got all the different sizes. You've got all of the blocks. Well, basically every block is a line drawing, a shaded line drawing to show you where color placement might work. Then you've got each individual patch labeled and that corresponds to the cutting table. And then you've got a colored block at the end, just to give you an idea of how it might look uh, cut and pieced. Now underneath it, you've got all of the different patches that you need to cut, how many of each patch you need to cut, and if you then have to sew it together, it then shows you how many units. And then you've got your actual cutting dimensions for a four inch, a six inch, an eight inch, a 10 inch, or a 12 inch finished block. Um, you've got basic instructions then for cutting it and how it would be put together. Um, a great resource, seeing double like that, bookstore door. Oh, I like that. That's a cute one. Twisty. That's nice. This one's pre-cut friendly. Um, I like how also you've got, uh, like here, for example, it says yardage for a twin quilt and or yardage for a table runner. So lots of setting suggestions. A real go-to. Oh, that's nice too. I like that. Everything equal. Nice, very nice. Lots of great ideas in there. Newport Beach, sunshine and shadows, off kilter. Well, I know that feeling sometimes. Pinwheels, coffee bar. I like coffee bar. Talking of coffee bar. 
Top coffee bar, would you? Lovely. And there's your block library. And also what's really nice is these blocks have been divided up uh, by skill level. So you've got skill level one, skill level two, and skill level three. And then also you've got ones which are pre-cut friendly. So these are charm square friendly. These are fat quarter friendly. These are jelly roll friendly. These are layer cake friendly. So that's great. So layer cake, 10 inch, 10 inch square. Jelly roll, two and a half inch strip friendly. Um, fat quarters, obviously we know uh, what those are. Yeah, lovely, really nice book that for 14 99 Lots of good value, very nice. Now, um, I'll grab a couple of my books. Well, I'll show you them both quickly. Um, uh, two of my book, two of my quilting books. We've got Use Scrap Sew Blocks Make 100 Quilts and we've got Simple Shapes Stunning Quilts. They both have 100 uh, quilt patterns in them. So this is Simple Shapes, which we've looked at. So we'll have a look. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So simple shape stunning quilt, seventeen ninety nine. That means you're paying uh, under eighteen pence per pattern. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and the idea with the book is that you get a block instruction, you get a quilt instruction. And I love scrap quilts, so I do rather take a scrap quilting approach to putting fabrics and colours together. So if you've got lots of scraps, you know, oddments, the odd fat quarter, bits of jelly roll, charm squares, 10 inch squares and so on, um, this, is, this is what I love to do. I love to put together, you know, maybe all different colours, maybe all different shapes, the way I've organised the book is into five chapters of projects. So once you've gone through all of your general instructions, all of the techniques that you need, then you've got the hundred quilts uh, to enjoy and to work your way through. Now I've divided these up and the way I've divided them up is the first chapter of projects is one patch quilts. So there's 20 quilt patterns that all use a single unit or a single shape for the whole quilt. Um, the next chapter is strips and squares. So that's all different sizes of strips and squares combined or separately to make 20 more quilts. So lots of jelly roll friendly quilts in there. Your next chapter is triangles. And there's a real mixture, real mixture there um, of quilts that, so for example, windmill. This uses triangles. I've shown it in solids, in red, but this would be gorgeous done all in scraps. Um, crossing borders um, uses simple half square triangles to create a gorgeous uh, quilt like that. This is a bit more advanced, ice crystals, but I've broken it down into step by step. My mum was outraged when I showed her the photograph actually here, she was like, well, they haven't finished wallpapering or even stripping the walls. I said, Mum, this is this is the look. She was like, what do you mean? It's the look, the paper's peeling off the walls. And I said, well, it was the look. It was the look. But thank you, Bruce. Bruce says the photography is lovely. Um, this is Rachel Whiting, who I've worked on on my last four books. And she is terrific. She is absolutely terrific. <laughs> pineapple and loads absolutely tons in there and then so that's triangles and then you've got curves 20 quil quilts and then you've got foundation piecing uh, which is uh, 20 more patterns um, and there's fun ones in there there's cogging that was a nice one I love doing that there's one which is all ice lollies which nice one I like ice lollies. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna find. Oh, there we go. There's the pattern with the ice lollies. All different ice lollies. I used when I was a child. I used to love the one that was cider, because I thought, you know, I was about eight years old. And I thought I was terribly dare. 
I've got cider. I'm going to get drunk. You know, you can just imagine, can't you? It's like, you know, 10 year old drinking a can of shandy. Um, <laughs> ginger beer. Oh, yeah. We've had beer at school today. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's also funny, this, this photograph get, always gets lots of comments. Um, the cocktails, look, let me just show you the magic of, of photography. The cocktails, gorgeous. Cosmo, cosmopolitan, you think? Cosmopolitan? Cold Yorkshire tea. That was cold Yorkshire tea. And the other comment I get, lots of people say, oh, is this your house? And no, no, it's not. Um, but also say, oh, what a beautiful house in the background. Well, would you believe this here is a garden shed? And this here is the neighbour, the neighbour's house. But together, they sort of blend into one and it looks like a gorgeous New England house, doesn't it? Yeah, but this was actually a garden shed. This actually is the garden shed and inside it was all kind of um, wood on the walls, like this wood panelling. And this was actually inside that garden shed. And we dragged a leather armchair from the house down the garden, which was about 200 metres, and put it in there. But yeah, love, love, love putting these books together. They're so much fun. There's lots and lots of hard work. OK, let me just grab the other book. Sorry, sorry. This is um, You Scrap Sew Blocks Make 100 Quilts. And I did 100 quilts in this book because I couldn't decide. I just couldn't decide. So this again, a hundred scrap quilts, all sorts in there. That's very, look, I do tend to go for these aged and battered looking things. My mum's outraged, my mum's outraged. Mm. Um, Deputy Joan made Square the Circle. Uh, some of my favourite quilts. Uh, now, I mentioned earlier on, I'd say um, Charm Square Friendly, Machine Stitch Cathedral Window. That quilt is very Charm Square Friendly. I made that out of Charm Squares. Uh, yeah, just lots of different techniques. Applique, paper piecing, strip piecing. You could hand piece these. Some log cabin with applique. One of my favourite quilts I've ever made that. Some modern, some traditional. Tilted, oh, one of my favorite quilts ever, Covent Garden. I was there on the tube going through London and I wasn't intending to get off at Covent Garden, but as the tube train came through Covent Garden, I saw this row of tiles, just a single row of tiles running along the platform. And I thought, gosh, that would make a beautiful quilt pattern. So I got off the tube a couple of stops early, um, jumped out, took photographs of the tile pattern which runs in a single line along the platform and uh, when I got home I started uh, working out how I could turn it into a quilt block and this was the resulting quilt. Oh I did not leave at Covent Garden because there are it's uh, it's the worst it's number of stairs there's hundreds aren't there there is a warning isn't there there's a warning at the bottom that says before you take the stairs you'd be much better off going on to Leicester Square, which is indeed what I did, which is also where my absolute favorite place for lunch is, just around the corner. It's a vegetarian Indian restaurant called Saravana Bhavan, and they do doza, which are the big lacy pancakes. They're about this big, and they come on like a tin tray with gorgeous fillings. I'm getting hungry. We need to go to break, don't we? Saravana Bhavan, top tip. Uh, I'll see you after the break with Pat and Mark from Totally Patch with more top tips and probably not food related. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. 
Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy Alan a present. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals, and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! It's great to have your company and here on Sewing Street we have got the company of Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. Welcome back. Hi, thank Hi. you. Amazing first hour. Amazing. Absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Thank Looking you. forward to a second what equally wonderful hour yeah. uh, with them completely different projects this time. We've got a bag, we've got cushions, we've got some embroidery in there as well. Uh, and the USP of Totally Patched kits is that everything is cut out for you and not just into fat quarters or big strips, but actually the individual pieces that you need, all measured out, 
all cut beautifully accurately by rotary cutter just spot on you can jump straight to the sewing machine and enjoy yourself if you prefer to buy the patterns on their own we've got those two um, can't wait to dive in let's start with the bag kits now i'm going to show you the bags first of all um even the wadding even the wadding <laughs> we've got everything so um here's the bag absolutely gorgeous great daytime bag Great bag for throwing over your shoulder. Everything goes in. Great fun to piece as well. And we've got a stylish, colorful version or a very sophisticated kind of uh, espresso and <laughs> mocha. Ooh, mocha, yeah, mm. love that, love that. Right, so let's start with the colorful. So that's this one. Um, this is called a uh, light strip piece the light these are lovely fabrics too what fabrics are these uh, they are macau uh, they are linen texture are they linen texture yes. gorgeous yeah. absolutely beautiful <laughs> really really like those fabrics absolutely gorgeous and it's the same on the front and the back beautiful and fully lined do we get the lining yeah oh, lining lovely. and wadding lining Handle wadding everything. perfect just add thread Hold up, yeah. And everything's cut out. So in here, what you've got are full instructions, all to your step-by-step instructions for making the bag. Um, you've also got everything cut out ready for you. So you can go straight to your sewing machine and start sewing. You've got the lining, you've got your wadding, you've even got the coverable button to finish your bag off. So literally add a reel of thread and you're yeah. away. Yep. absolutely superb uh, a really cute bag as well that's a great kind of summery combo isn't it 1750 are you having a laugh that's amazing <laughs> that's incredible so that's your full pattern so just because quarter of the stock's already gone just <laughs> because your kit's got everything pre-cut for you it's not one of those things that you make it once and that's it you're done because you haven't got a pattern you've got the pattern you've got full cutting instructions it just so happens that this first version has been beautifully accurately cut out by mark for you so you can get straight to the sewing but thereafter use your pattern use your fabrics your favorite combos your strips your scraps and make as many versions as you like definitely yeah absolutely fab can't believe that value that's amazing <laughs> third of the stock's gone now we were a quarter a moment ago now it's a third very very well done if you've got yours this is how it's going that is cracking good nice, value nice summer bag as well it is a nice lovely summer, colours, summer yeah, bag yeah. yeah absolutely you could get your when, your if you're going when through we get the summer today we've got it now it oh, no. you're oh, here yeah. <laughs> Oh. It's summer outside, okay. Mark. Sorry. <laughs> they also but, make they make a lovely gift. Oh, really nice. Like a, a you know at a really good price. Yeah. And a really quick make. Yeah. Uh, and they're quite impressive, I think. Yeah. You know what? I think that maybe somebody who's either getting back into sewing, maybe rehabilitated, maybe mm. not been very mm. well, and want a project, but you don't want to. You, you too heavy and too time consuming right yeah. or that has to start with two hours of cutting <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because i've taught many many bag workshops and even the simplest of bag yeah. can take some some students two hours yeah. to cut out their pieces you are straight to the sewing straight to the sewing um i you know it, it was brought, we always we often talk about dexterity issues yeah. with cutting yeah. but i remember re meeting a lady at a quilt show who said to me for me the issue is my eyesight oh, she okay. said i can sew no problem because i can feel i can get the fabrics mm. together that's yeah. fine but i cannot keep reading a ruler yeah is yeah. that constantly having to focus and read a ruler yeah. so for her pre-cut kits absolutely perfect who doesn't love a pre-cut kit <laughs> uh right so that's our light our bright our ice cream colors <laughs> delicious third of the stock gone um yeah, you know, I think this is my favourite because I love that it's not black and white, mm. actually. I love mm. black and white, yeah. but I love the fact that this is espresso, this is milk. These almost look like little coffee beans <laughs> to me as well. Hannah, our producer, is saying, this is my I'm going for a coffee, I may be some time bag. Yeah. Yeah. Pop your book, going for a little walk, mm. the, the novel's in there, the purse is in there. The phone the phone is yeah. in there of Big course to take all of those 
and nothing too much else. Do you know, wouldn't it be nice sometimes to go for a coffee and a walk without your phone? <laughs> There's a thought. It's vir There's virtually thought. impossible. But yeah, should, should we try? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, just so that you know, half the stock gone. Over 40 of these in baskets. Do we have 40 of them, Hannah? <laughs> no, no, we don't. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Like we cut them. No, you <laughs> don't. No, you don't. Right. So, way, way oversubscribed. The, the value is phenomenal, isn't it? All your fabrics pre cut. This one has a big button. That's a big old button. Yeah. Buttons vary, don't they? Yeah, the so, buttons vary yeah. because I think, that, like, I think a big button on the, the um, yes. lighter one wouldn't have been so good. So I think they've got smaller buttons yes. on. Yeah. And if you don't want the, if you've got a gorgeous button you want to use, you can keep mm. that for something or else. Or even a little toggle. You can yeah, yeah, toggle, toggle would be nice. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. And, uh, and also, the fabric you make the loop with mm -hmm. is. And the fabric for the button yep. is big enough for a big or small. You just have oh, to cut fantastic. it down. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, so yeah you're lovely. You're not going to get stuck with a... Also, that's a really nice, easy finish for yeah. a bag, isn't it? Yeah. A nice, easy closure. Oh, I've gives got nine of these left. Gives you that little bit of security, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does, absolutely. This would be a good, like, if you're travelling on the train, on the bus, on, mm. the, on an aeroplane. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, I do have instructions on their own. There is a queue on the phone. I apologise. Um, our customer service are getting through. Quickest way online. Um, right, pattern on its own, pattern on its own. Now, this is gorgeous, because this is very like a dressmaker's pattern, very smartly <laughs> done. Look in a gorgeous envelope. You've all your full instructions in there. But Pat and Mark are very, very kind. Look at this. This is going the extra mile <laughs> for the presenter. This is what's inside. Here's my envelope. Isn't this great? You can come back, I say. <laughs> We're just trying to make an impression today. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this may never okay. happen again. <laughs> this is like first date, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. This is like you're not going to reveal all your nasty habits. <laughs> Uh, Bex has messaged in actually to say hi Stuart and everyone what fabulous kits I've bought kits and even bought a quilt kit a few months ago I take the fabrics out ooh are over them and then pack it away again because I'm afraid of ruining it by cutting yeah. isn't this the solution yeah. pre-cut kit uh, we're just loving this. Pat has been in touch to say, I'm watching from Canada. Oh. We love oh. that. Wow. Thank you. Thank we're you, yeah. international. Uh oh, well. I wonder what time is in Canada. In Canada. I wonder what the time might be. I don't know. What time is it, Pat? What time is it in Canada? Uh, so, probably coffee time, oh. I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly feels. Oh. Uh. <laughs> right on cue. Mmm. <laughs> Gorgeous. Right, and then your full instructions, nine ninety nine for these. Now, as I've already come to expect with Pat and Mark's <laughs> patterns, look at this, absolutely fantastic. Everything set out in such great detail, but not great detail because this is complicated. No, not at all. It's really, really simple. Yeah. And simple to adjust if you're a more experienced sewer. Okay. Like... We've given you all your strips and everything to make a bag like this, mm -hmm. but if you wanted to jelly roll it and make, yes. and make it bigger, yes, then you can do that by all means. It can go to a bat, you know, quite big size. Yeah, yeah. size. Yeah. 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 So once you've got the basic of the bag, you could do it in lots of different fabrics and thickness, thinness. A good beginner level? Oh, definitely. Perfect. And you know, I think because this is detailed instructions this is a hand holding yours isn't it yeah. quite literally it's like having a private workshop with pat and mark who are there by your side now i need to let you know that the only way to get involved with this bag now is pattern on its own all of the kits have sold out wow. so well done wow. with another sellout oh my wow. that was record time though <laughs> record time <laughs> a message for you oh, possibly for me who knows uh, hi lovely Stuart. it's for me oh, it's uh, for you. Hi, lovely Stuart. i'll just focus on that bit for a moment oh pattern mark <laughs> pattern marks instructions are always excellent good to see you both on sewing street Thank that's you. Thank you. Claire. That's nice. from Claire. Yeah. That's really nice. Really nice. So if you want to get your instructions, um, yours will come in <laughs> your gorgeous like dressmaker style envelope. Um, rotary cutting instructions inside. Yes. 
No, sizes. 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 Not the how si to rotary not how cut. No, no, no. The no, size is what you what mean. But what I mean yes. is, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. How, yes. yeah, yeah, the rotary cutting. It's, it's a dressmaker style envelope, but it's yeah. not paper pieces. No, 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 no. Gotcha. Right. Okay. Let's move on. That's the bag. The Texas Star. Now, let me just grab. I've got. Have I got the other version? Is it there? Oh, lovely. Thanks, Mark. Awesome. Brilliant. Thank you. Look at that. Now, half the stock has gone on pre-order of both. Yeah, of both. Half the stock's already gone. So, got two options. We've got the peach and we've got the blue. So, we're going to look at peach first of all. So, first of all, let's just have a look at this gorgeous cushion, uh, hand quilted, Pat, I know your hand's been involved here, yes. absolutely gorgeous. So you've got your patchwork piecing, you've got your beautiful border there, and really smart envelope back. Gorgeous fabrics, aren't they? Are these Moda too? Um, yeah, these They're are lovely, yeah. absolutely lovely. Now this is how your kit comes, it's all in a beautiful box, if you want to gift these, uh, I mean, they're just ready-made, aren't they, mm. to, to, to gift. Do you have to make up the boxes as well, Mark? Is this all part of your job? <laughs> oh, look. Uh, uh, an Poor another, Mark. another string. Yeah? I mean, <laughs> you cut, you iron, you make up boxes, you do the lunch. Yeah. I mean, I'm just... I'm, I'm thoroughly not coming again. I'm, I'm thoroughly... <laughs> no, Pat, I was just about to say, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed yeah. with the extent of your training, your on-the-job training oh, good, yeah. for your workers. Yeah. I mean, it's extensive. It yeah. really is. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the good news. You even get the quilt batting, the wadding, to wad your cushion front. That's included as well. All of your fabrics, and remember, all of Totally Patched kits come fully cut. If there's any cutting involved in the technique, so for example, flippy corners, you will have your rectangles, you will have your squares pre-cut, you will mark, you will sew, you will trim. Am yeah. I right? Correct. Yeah. So yes, some trimming, but all of your pre-cutting is all done for you. Full instructions there as well, just as detailed as if you were buying the pattern on its own. Lots of paper, even though this is just a cushion, you could take this pattern and turn it into a quilt. Yeah. Well, that, that actual uh, block was in the quilt we had on the it earlier. It is, show, indeed yeah. it is. Would you just point it out, please, Mark, on the quilt? Well, it's yeah, top yeah, left, yeah, isn't it? I love the pointer. <laughs> You've done this before. <laughs> and look at the price, 19 99 for everything you need, just insert a cushion pad. It's all you need. Uh, what size, 16 inch? 16, I think, yeah, yeah. 16, 16 inch. 16 inch cushion pad. It's lovely. Gorgeous. Now, the blue version. This is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very me, lovely colours, lovely soft country vibe, just beautiful isn't it? And look at the lovely fabric for the backing. Are my fabrics in my kit exactly the same? Um, I think I th they are. If yeah. they're not, they but are from of the that range. range. Yeah. They're from that range. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. going gonna, gonna to check, I'm going to check. They are, they are, they they're are. exactly yeah. those yeah. fabrics. Yeah. Oh, absolutely beautiful isn't it? Single figures. Single Ooh. figures left. Check out, check out your baskets, please. Um, amazing value again, 1999. Remember, included in that is everything's cut out for you. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Linda says, please stop. I'm joking. How many totally patched items have I bought today? Absolutely wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Linda. Yeah. Linda, you sound like a very happy bunny. <laughs> yeah. Um, once everyone's checked out their baskets, I've got two of these left. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. But full instructions and fully cut kit in the blue. Now, if you want instructions on their own, we got you covered. And this would, again, would be a fantastic first project, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. If you've yeah. never done patchwork and quilting before. It, it, it's an achievable block in a, in a cushion. Yeah. yeah. And it's something you'll finish, you'll use, you'll love it. And there's no reason why you can't enlarge it slightly and do three of those like in a table runner. Yeah, that'd be nice. Or, or a yeah. whole quilt in yeah, the same Yeah, make, make yeah. the cushion, yeah. make the cushion a couple of times, then make a runner, small wall hanging, a quilt. It's very versatile. You could even use it on the front of a tote bag. Yeah, you? Mm, definitely, yeah. yeah. Gorgeous. So again, 
I've got um, everything here all set out for me. This is how yours will come, all in an envelope, so you can store your instructions. Really love that. I think that's a great step forward, having the envelope, isn't it? really like that. Um, now, can I just ask, because I've got, obviously, these are instructions that I would get with my pre-cut kits, because there's a blue and there's a peach version. What will I get inside my pattern? Pattern is... A pattern. <laughs> but which? Both. Oh, you get pattern. both? Yeah, yeah, get both. You get both. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. that's cool. Only because it's easy, I always think it's easier to relate to the colour. Okay. So you could think, well, I'm, I'm going to sub these peaches for, like, pinks or yeah, greens. Okay. Great. But it, at least you've got a bit of a light and dark thing going oh, on. So great. Yeah. And the other thing is people look at the pattern and think they've got the wrong pattern. Yes, Because True it's enough. not the yeah. same colour. Yeah. yeah. But it is. It's exactly the same. Oh, so great. So that's why we put both in so they can see and relate to which, which well, one they want awesome. to do. That's awesome. in a kit, you get the one that relates yes. directly to the kit. Yeah. Gotcha. The Absolutely. Perfect. Well, I think that's amazing, and that's great value as well, isn't it? Uh, $9.99 for the Totally Patched Texas Star Cushion Pattern. Uh, Teresa's got in touch to say, Pat Mark, oh my goodness, uh, what a double act, really making me chuckle, as well as inspirational oh, fab kits. Thanks. That's Thank really you. nice. Um, Pat says it's 6 a.m. in Canada wow. right now. Thank you um, very much, even more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she says, my second home is in Surrey um, and uh, a friend from the north shared. Oh, that's lovely. Great. Oh, so 6 a.m. in Canada. Oh. Well, well, good morning, Canada. Yes, good morning. <laughs> now, both of the Texas Star Cushion kits, we have two remaining of the kits. So two of the peach and two of the blue left. That's it. That is left. That's all. That is all. <laughs> right, one last cushion. And this is a bit of mixed media, which I am really into at the moment. Really into. Uh, I've got fewer than 20 of these because of pre-order. It's been a very, very popular kit. Uh, very popular kit. So what do I mean by mixed techniques? Well, what you've got in here is you've got this beautiful, simple embroidery yeah, that you're going to work through. Oh, both kits sold out on the uh, Texas Star. Okay. Well done, both. <laughs> That's all sold out. So this is the only pre-cut kit we've got available now. Your quilt kit sold out, your cushion kit sold <laughs> out. This one we do have. This is so beautiful. Isn't it lovely? So you're going to hand embroider this section, simple back stitch. Correct. Yeah. Simple so back stitch. Very the, simple. You get the actual printed words and all that it's already done for you on a no it's not you, you get you've got the, to trace you've got to trace it yeah. you've got to trace it yeah. you've got to trace yeah. it just use a fine pencil yeah anything um and actually i always trace um i stick it on the window and do it through the window. same here it, yeah yeah that's yeah. the easiest way low tech it? yeah 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 easy peasy um also with the cream fabric uh, it's like very likely just to show through anyway isn't it mm. yeah. very yeah. easy to do um and also as well it's a it's a gorgeous kind of naive country style as well yeah so if you've never done embroidery before or even if you know your embroidery is is you know not the neatest in the world Mine's not. it adds to the charm <laughs> mine's not the just neatest adds to the charm yeah. doesn't it Here's your, and you also get, of course, all your threads, all of your patchwork fabrics as well, all pre-cut, your borders all pre-cut as well. This is a 16 and a half finished cushion. Again, 19.99, what a brilliant price. Okay, now let me show you what you get inside your kit. Here we go. This is your only option now with pre-cut kits. So all those lovely fabrics, I do love those checks and plaids. Mm. They look like Moda as well to me. And they're, they're actually stuff. Oh, stuff. are they? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful, yeah. really lovely. They are lovely. Um, look, you've got all of your borders pre-cut for you as well. You've got your background fabric pre-cut the back of your cushion, your quilt batting as well. There's your quilt batting. Now, do I need to add embroidery threads? You do. 
yeah. you need to get those you get those separately what you've, what you've done there was i just use like uh, my bits rather scruffy looking bits and pieces box box of you have those half like half yeah. a skein left or quarter of a skein left and you think well not enough to do a whole block absolutely i don't mind mixing my colors either i'll yeah. mix them up a bit and whatever absolutely perfect absolutely perfect so there you go and you've got your full instructions on how to uh, trace your design how to stitch it how to do your patchwork and there's your finished design just gorgeous isn't it? it it's not only a gorgeous cushion i think it's it looks relaxing and calm mm. but it is relaxing and calm to make as well yeah but yes it, exactly yeah. it's the colors isn't it they just just ooze calmness it is it's really soft and gentle with single figures of that now that's going to sell out too <laughs> now if you want instructions on their own we have got that we've got that i this uh, this really appeals to me this project i'd love to sit and do this <laughs> and you don't have to use an embroidery hoop do you you can just have I the don't fabric in your hand. I don't yeah. at all you don't know no. yeah. I just I'd, I'd hold it in my hands and yeah. relax yeah I'd be inclined to do the same yeah I don't profess but to be an embroiderer but I do you like don't a, need to be you do know, you and just a bit of stri stitchery every now and then I think yeah. it's just gorgeous great yeah no I totally agree right if you want pattern on its own it's 9.99 so again, it comes in a dressmaker style envelope and then inside, full instructions, all of your cutting, your embroidery, how to make it up into a cushion, a uh, colour layout as well. Just use like stranded cotton. Um, I you can you well use anything because yeah. that's the name of the game really yeah you can use stranded cotton I use cotton abrode yeah which is still a DMC colour fast mm -hmm. thread yeah uh, but I just like that and I quilt with cotton abrode as well very nice yeah um, I I used all my stranded cotton up on cross stitch yeah when I was cross stitch crazy then I used every bit up but I do love the cotton of brode yeah that. what you yeah. find with the cotton of brode you don't have to stand there trying to yeah you don't have to pull it apart and it yeah. doesn't twist yeah. much sure. either. so lovely. it's lovely yeah absolutely gorgeous and a chance as well to customize the um the style so for example if you've got like in my sitting room i've got lots of kind of warm deep kind of autumny colors mm. you know so for me i'd go into my scraps yeah. and i would pull out you know those kind of warm rich deep colors and then in my embroidery i would use kind of deep browns deep yeah. reds deep greens that kind of thing maybe gold yeah. and i would work the designs in that and you could vary it this would be a gorgeous new home gift yeah. wouldn't yeah. it yeah. welcome to your new home yeah home is where love begins a nursery what about a wedding present for somebody mm. as Lovely. well yeah all of those mm. yeah yeah I think people should be like like both all of these projects you could be making making as gifts to give yes for christmas oh for sure i know Absolutely. I, I don't i don't slip the christmas word in too often this <laughs> no you're people, fine this is a safe are space it a lot. it's a safe <coughs> space Excuse me. people are say say it. It, so keep saying it a lot and yeah must be on the way <laughs> oh well, we were doing christmas last week yeah um, hobby maker are doing halloween this week <laughs> yeah. so I mean you know we have absolutely no respect for the Gregorian <laughs> calendar whatsoever so, no um, but I mean you do need time to make if you're going to you make yeah. a gift Plan. you do need time to make it and it we well, you know we're all looking at the cost of things mm -hmm. look mm -hmm. think how many cu cushions like that you can make out of your stash oh gosh absolutely Low. absolutely yeah. uh, talking of stash mm -hmm. talking of stash um, what about using some stash to make yourself a gorgeous bag? Uh, now, we've only got the pattern available, but this is perfect because this is a chance to use up fabric you already have at home with Pattern Mark's fabulous strip pieced bag pattern. Uh, how much fabric, <laughs> roughly, like if you were to say in fat quarters worth, how Oof. much fabric would you need? One for the outer yeah like uh we're talking about the bag yeah yeah well the bag strips yeah are, are um they're various sizes i think the biggest is two inches two biggest is two and inches, the yeah. others are one and a half mm -hmm. 
uh, by the half width fabric mm -hmm. um, and that it becomes the back and the front of the of the bag I was I was going to demo this but I don't know if I'm going to get time now because everybody's <laughs> bought them um, so it becomes the back and the front we're gonna have something to keep you busy Pat I, I mean, know. You know it's a very good bag to yeah. give to a junior to do as well yeah, yeah that's very a nice good idea quick and easy to do yeah. yeah and it's a good scale as well it's a good scale for an adult but it's also a good scale for a child yeah. Yeah. because they need bags too mm -hmm. They really do. Um, yeah, so about a fat quarter's worth of scraps for the outside, yeah. a fat quarter for lining, yeah, something a bit for longer the for the... Yeah. But great to use like your two and a half inch strips, strips if you've got bits of jelly yeah. roll yeah. left. Yeah. Mix and match, mix and match. I'd be throwing in a few little squares here and there. Yeah. You can piece you can, strips. You can like it, make it just for you, mm. just um, individual. Yeah, for what completely you unique. Yeah. Mm. Unique, yeah. As we all are. Yeah. What does it they say? You're unique, just like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Gorgeous. Great pattern. Great pattern. Pat, if you've got the bag out, could you give us a little demo? Yeah. That'd be awesome. Thank I've you. I've got everything out because you keep going, no, none left, none left. So I've got <laughs> everything out now. Well, we're, we're, we're okay here because we're, we're here at Sewing Street, even if something's sold out, if you've got a demo, you can absolutely still show your mm. demo. Brilliant. Because, of course, everyone's bought it. Exactly. We want to know how to make we'll it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go yeah. for it. Exactly. So, uh, the only difference between the bags are the one is two colours, two fabrics. Mm -hmm. And the other is lots of different ones. So that's a good thing because it makes you... Um, use use fabrics, you might not colours. Yeah, sorry, I lost. I was looking at myself. And <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was looking at myself. Did you distract yourself? Did. <laughs> How did that happen? It's easily done, Pat. <laughs> easily it's easily done. done. Probably is in my world. So I... Um, before we uh, came, it's this one I need. Um, I all you do the first thing that you do is you take a your a wadding which actually is quite considerably bigger than you need it to nice, be. Nice, good. And you draw a line up the centre of that piece of wadding. Um, then you take your strips. You can put them in whatever order you want to, mm -hmm. apart from. The central one, you've only got one of. Okay. So pop that. This is if you've gone for the peach kit. Yep. Yeah. And if you've gone for the other one, it, they just alternate yep. all the way out. It's just the colour that it varies. So I, I chose to put one, just the one in the centre. Mm -hmm. And you put it approximately, you know, the world's not going to end if it's not exactly in the middle. So you go like that. Put it on. Then I think I've done pink next, have I? You have. Mm. Uh, so we're going to stitch and flip. Okay. So you put this on top and we're going to work from the center out. So that's gonna go onto there like that. Mm -hmm. If you do want to put a, a pin just to keep it in place, which I am going to do, oh. just, just because. Oh. You might want to set your recorders, folks. Pat the pin in. <laughs> yeah, you might. <laughs> just because. Note the date. <laughs> I yeah. know. Yeah. Well, there are occasions yeah. that you know. Uh, yeah, only because, you see, if I move it too much, it might yeah. move yeah. and I'll you know, lose my direction. And, yeah, and yeah. it's a, a longer piece of fabric than you would normally sew with patchwork for, for blocks yeah, yeah so that. mark we know you iron we know you cut <laughs> yes do you ever patchwork do you I sew have i have made a um uh, like a rectangle block quilt mm -hmm. um but i don't have time for that now oh. unfortunately <laughs> i leave that to the expert well you know <laughs> it, the reason why i had to make a quilt like that was and the gate was to gain knowledge yeah because when we had the shop i'd done the shop side as you know downstairs I remember well yeah and then people would come into the shop and ask me a question yeah then i had the knowledge to give them the answer absolutely so, Absolutely. So yes, I have, I have made a... And there a is a certain quilt. novelty, isn't there? <laughs> we both speak from experience of being a man yes. in patchwork. In a yeah. woman's uh, world. It's, it's yeah. not, got to have the not knowledge. unknown for people to walk by me when I was in the shop and then go, is anybody can serve me? Um, yep, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually that has happened yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. absolutely but then when they get your trust and they know that you uh, you understand what they need and what you're talking about exactly they, they trusted you to yeah to do the cutting and do whatever because you have made a quilt yeah mm. you are a quilter yeah class done, quilt. and done all the processes that's yes. the thing yeah yeah, yeah yeah i've got a question for you uh from linda who says, fantastic, informative show, spent a fortune, yippee! <laughs> uh, where did Pat get her dress from, or did she make it? Lots of love, Lynn. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I didn't make it. Um, I got it, actually, 
from um, a no? shopping channel. See? Can I say the where? No, we can't say the name of the shopping okay, channel. Okay, it's Pat. got three initials, <laughs> um, and I got it from there. Oh, lovely! Yes. Well, it's very gorgeous. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's lovely. So I'm afraid I didn't make it, which you know. I wish I, should, I wish I could have said yes. What now. a shame! Yeah, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> should have said, but I. I Next time, Pat. I, I, I have actually bought a pattern, haven't I? Yes. Mark went, what's this? I said, this is a, is it, have when, time when are you going to have time to do oh. this? I said, I, I said, that top, it's like a bit like the, I've got quite a few of the same sort of shape. I said, yeah. I'm going to make some tops. And he just went, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Because he does, okay. you know, I did go, I used to do a lot of knitting. Yeah, lovely. Oh, look, I'm not telling you what I'm doing. No. Um, and Let's I, I, I said, we went to a show mm -hmm. and I wandered off and came back with a carrier bag full of very expensive wool and Lovely. a pattern and some I was needles. on the stand at the time. And it's fatal, Mark. You know not <laughs> to let Pat wander. Yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean you're taking the takings? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's been ongoing for quite a while, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Every time yeah. I go back to it, I have to undo it because I've forgotten where I am and it's oh, quite a complex pattern. Fair enough. So anyway, so now I've bought a paper pattern, so who knows what's going to happen? Who knows? Yes. Yeah. So well, fingers crossed, you know, next time <laughs> no. you'll be wearing a... I won't be wearing... No, no. All oh, right, fair no, enough. Go, go, uh, Don't one month's time ideas. we're back. I've, I've got a busy oh, month. Yeah, busy okay. month. Janice right. messaging saying, I'm wearing the same dress today in a different colour. Is Loving she? the show from Janet. Oh, <laughs> Love it. I have got it in a different colour as yeah. well. Yeah. Oh, have you? Yes. Also yeah. bought from that other, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> three initials. Well, I wonder what colour she's got. My other's, mm -hmm. my other's the same, but black, black and, and white. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. See, we're all the same, really, and it's very comfy. But unique, yeah, but unique, right? Yes, okay. Just like back to else. the bag. Back to the bag. Um, so this was my central piece. I've stitched on, flipped back, pressed. Don't worry, you can press your your wadding. It's yep. it's a bag. Put the other one on the opposite side. That's why I moved it because I wasn't sure. And then you said, "Nope, I can't." Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark didn't. Oh, normally, dom domestic alert, everyone. No. Domestic alert. <laughs> Because normally you don't, you, you, when it's a quilt, you don't press you don't when, when you're sandwiched. No. no. You, you so that's what I did. Although oh, I do, oh. Mark, sometimes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. Well, because, I do, because years ago, like 20 years ago, I used to use um, fusible waddings mm. all right. the time. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, uh, but also now, like when I bind my quilt, mm. I iron it back before I flip it to the other side. Oh, right. So yeah. I iron round the edges, edges. Yeah. if yeah. nothing else. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, yeah. I think people, you either love or you hate fusible, I think. Yeah. Uh, but I think for small projects, it's quite good. Mm. Like little bags you could mm. use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't iron it when you put it in. But no, but don't. No, it. that's it. But you stick. can with regular wadding. Yeah. 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 And so as you're piecing this, you're also quilting it, aren't you? Yeah. Because you're attaching it to wadding. Yeah. Could you go in and add extra quilting if you wanted? Yeah, you could. Why not? Yeah. Now, can you press that mark? That way? I can. Thank you. Perfect. I don't mind you doing the pressing mark. If you want to come and, you know, when I'm designing, you could just... Oh, I don't mind you come and do the cutting then. Oh, no. Oh, see, works both ways. I know. I don't want to do the cutting now. You do the design and I'll do the cutting. Okay. And the calculations <sighs> I have to do? Oh, yeah, you do that bit as well. Yeah. How Oop. many bolts of fabric do we need for this one little <laughs> cushion oh we need at least 12 bolts <laughs> so same things happening going on you see how easy it is for anybody absolutely you don't even have to be accurate i'm enthralled pat <laughs> if you're <laughs> <laughs> no it is it's lovely it's a lovely relaxed job isn't it Liz? yeah gorgeous gorgeous but the pair you of you are adorable aren't they adorable <laughs> everybody <laughs> Are you already wanting to know when Pat and Mark are back? Because I certainly am. When are you back? Uh, 3rd of October. 3rd of October. I'll check my diary. Do you know, I've got a feeling I might be here. Oh. Ooh, I'll check. There you go. I'll check. Mark's you can always request a change. It's all right. <laughs> I won't be offended. I won't be offended. I'm going to check my diary now. Oh, OK. <laughs> Mark's birthday. So oh, is it? Yes. On that day, yeah. 
Oh, look at that. I'm in on the first and the second and I'm not in on the third. Oh, never mind. But it's John's If you change it, we won't, have we won't be offended if you change it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen anybody that I, you know, we just... Well, actually, because we're new, I've yeah. been doing a bit of spying on the channel. Of course. To see what's going on. Yes. And um, everybody's just great. Yeah. And being here, like in the flesh everybody is definitely great oh yeah it's lovely here yeah, isn't it yeah it's really nice really nice i was celebrating my second year here wow. last week which has flown by yeah you get balloons and everything <laughs> do you that's yeah what, you that's do. what got tangled up with earlier down the yeah. side there yeah, there's, some yeah. Oh, there. there's always balloons in the building mark you'll get used to that we do love our balloons at sewing street <laughs> Our balloons and our badges. Oh, right. Yes. I'll look out for both in the future. Mm. <laughs> so you just, so you work from the centre outwards, Pat, oh, and wow. you're adding to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, and just keep going. Just keep going. Love that. Um, which is, you know, easy peasy. Yeah. If you want to get the pattern on its own for this gorgeous bag, you can do it. It's called the strip piece bag. It's 9 99 You get full instructions and actually within your envelope of instructions, you get um, all of your instructions for piecing the bag. And it doesn't matter whether you want to do a two color version, if you want to do a symmetrical version, like the light colour, the pastels, or if you just want to go completely scrappy, yeah, uh, you can do that. Um, everything's fully explained in wonderful detail. If you're a visual learner, and I find most creative Pictures people paint a yeah. are yeah. visual learners, um, everything is set up, but also all set out in, in words as well. Um, a great little bag, easy to make, and can be made to coordinate with any outfit. Be nice actually made in different shades of light denim, wouldn't it? Be nice. Yeah, yeah. nice shirting weight denim. Yeah. Um, Catherine says, love the banter. It's banter. Mm. It's banter. not an argument. <laughs> I love the banter between Mark and Pat, a proper married couple <laughs> from Catherine. That's, That's what fabulous. We like. we could, could you possibly throw me this bag over? Yeah, yes, of course I will. I'm just going to, um, because if I just keep doing that, it won't get very exciting. But... <laughs> I don't know, it's as exciting as I can take on a Wednesday. <laughs> Is it really? Well, yeah. well we can take more, can't we, Mark? <laughs> we can, yeah, we can go for it. Ramp it up. Ramp Another it up. message for you. Yes, Pat and Mark are adorable, amazing products and fabrics, <laughs> and always learn so much from Pat. Oh, see, my namesake. So, um, Nothing I'm, from you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you get, to, um, I've left a little secret hole in this this was for turning right because i thought I, this might happen so i can turn it through okay. to show the next stage yeah. which will become clear but uh I, we won't i haven't got to keep sewing those strips mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. is much more exciting look I, well yeah i can <laughs> what can you say really <laughs> right <coughs> so let's pretend <laughs> let's pretend you've done all this yeah done all that and there you can see my uh i'll go put it down uh, you can see my sewing lines as yeah. I've joined them all on, joined yeah. them all on. Then what you do is you fold it in half, like so, all the way down, and stitch all the way up to the top, both sides. And then you shape your bottom. If only it was this easy. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you stitch across here. <laughs> if I... Uh, oh. Come on, Mark. Oh, yeah, yeah, because this, um, this is really difficult to yeah, photograph one job, this corner. Mark, come on. <laughs> one job. So, what we're doing by stitching across here, you're forming the shape of your bag. So, you do the same both sides, and then you have this little number here. Mm -hmm. yep. Do exactly the same with the lining, and all you do is you put your. Can I just. Can I have it now? Oh. Well, there's loads of pages of this. Get off. Loads of pages. Oh, that's because you got both pictures. Uh, both both bags. patterns. Both patterns. <laughs> both patterns. Sorry, <laughs> forgot. Um, so, once you've made your corner, you put make your loops, which is this. This is mm -hmm. your little loop. Yeah. Which you do you want to do this? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> fold it into the middle, and fold it into the middle oh. again. <laughs> fold it in half, and stitch down that side. That's awesome. your loop. Now, if you've got a little button. You need you need to make it littler. Yeah. If you've got a big button, it'll be fine. 
no problem so that's that's just a simple mic bias bias binding you're making yeah so that's how you make the handle as well although the handle you think is quite big quite wide it mm -hmm. needs just i didn't want to put wadding in it i think it's too casual a bag sure yeah isn't it mm -hmm. you know too and, bulky as well, and sometimes i'm not the top actually mm. like i've wore, i've made loads of these and yeah. worn them out haven't i so if it's a bit long you can make it cut it shorter yeah or you can just put a knot in because of different occasions you don't it's know it's sort of reminding me of during during lockdown mm -hmm. charlie and i went for lots of walks you know yeah. as yeah. many of us did we discovered the joy <laughs> of walking yeah. and we very quickly discovered that we needed a drink and then of course a snack yes. as well <laughs> yeah. for the walk yeah. so i ended up making little bags yeah. that we could just throw just on you know what i mean yeah. absolutely perfect dog walking yeah, yeah. absolutely perfect aren't they um, mo's watch Mo in Scotland she says morning handsome that's me by the way Mark um, welcome to Pat and Mark uh, loving the show listening while emptying the bathroom ready to turn into a wet room Ooh. over the next few days awesome Very nice. uh, Alison Marion's got in touch Alison Marion is one of our uh, much beloved uh, regular guests okay. on the channel and she says oh my goodness this is such a funny double act <laughs> <laughs> Sue says oh dear I just snorted loud <laughs> no. particularly effective if you're drinking a cup at the same time I find what can anyway, you say anyway Pat as you were <laughs> so I've just uh, shaped my bottom and that's what it looks like the uh, lining is exactly the same and pop him in there and I don't know about you but when you do leave a little hole to turn through I hate sewing them up I just yeah, think, oh, I machine them. I yeah, always yeah, machine I'm them. Yeah, I was just going to say, I just just whip it under, pull it out, whip it under. Yeah. Oh god, I'm, I'm glad about that. Always, I think if it's good enough for a commercial bag, it's good enough for me. Yeah, you know? yeah, lovely. So all, that's all you've done now. I just want to show you about the button. Yep. Um, <laughs> because for this little button, I've got this step by step demonstration. Oh, yeah. Which is strange, really, isn't it? Um, if you you're given a you've got a square which you might need to cut down. Mm -hmm like so sorry table um, and there we then go. fold it in half so I went bigger with this one so you could see so just fold it in half put a pin in look fold it in half and then if you cut from corner to corner a curve mm. you've got more or less a circle yeah so just like fold it into quarters and, quarters. Then, and then yeah yeah perfect and then if your buttons too small too too small for what you've done you go back put it back on yeah take some more off the corner and that way I think it's easy to cut them too small yes then I agree. you can't get them to tuck in properly and all that and then you just want to gather in stitch round and, and the other thing is stitch. if they're too big they won't all tuck under in, the yeah. Yeah. yeah funnily yeah. enough I recorded a short video yesterday for how to cover a button and I uh -huh. did exactly that I yeah. cut the circle too small yeah. Yeah. first off so we had to redo it yes. <laughs> but by <laughs> the magic done. of television I did it perfectly first yes. time <laughs> but it's easy I think it's easier to cut it too small isn't it yes. so I usually start off a bit bigger do that and think yeah, I'll go a little bit more and a little yeah. bit more it, it, and then it's, it's worth perfect yeah awesome do you think we could just do a little bit of demo on the Texas star please we could, yes. that would be lovely Texas star cushion pattern details are going to come up on screen in just a mo um, the pattern is all that's available all the pre-cut kits have sold out but in the pattern you get the instructions and you actually get them uh, in duplicate because you get the instructions for the blue cream version and the peach version so if you're going with similar colors it just makes it easier doesn't it to follow photographs which relate to the color that you're working in yeah. but other than that they're same instructions but you get all same. of those included in your uh, pack for 9.99 and um, this is shown as a cushion but would make a great runner you could make a gorgeous wall hanging with four or nine blocks you could make a great quilt single double queen size yep and different again scrappy lots yeah. of different ones bit of sashing in between if you want to uh right uh, you'll notice um, in the cutting there are some um, pieces with writing on Scripture. and they've Scripture, isn't it? script yeah mm -hmm. that's writing isn't it okay. writing on yeah. common thing yes yeah. script mark script so. lovely yeah. posh mm. a touch of class that mark no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> a touch of class <laughs> i think that's what it said on the end of the end of the fabric actually <laughs> <laughs> that's where i got it from gotcha but it gotcha. has been cut yes so that they're both they're all in line so that they'll be going in the right direction. I mm -hmm. can't read, I don't know what it says, but lovely, nice words. So this is a simple um, 
as you can see here this is our step by step on this right so it's made up of quarters which is unusual we're not, we don't do rows we do quarters mm -hmm. so the first thing you do it tells you is to draw a diagonal line on all of your light squares small light squares and then you place them um, on top of your I'll do one at a time I'll do the top one first um, on top of your fabric which is also directional <laughs> um, which is okay because it's a rectangle and you're going to put the put the square on top of the rectangle like so lining it all beautifully and you're going to stitch on the line okay so no quarter inches to worry about either here mm -hmm. like and i think you emphasize that in the extra pattern somewhere as well don't you do i about about it being on the line and not a, not a quarter inch i do yeah because mm. mm. people just get quarter inch quarter inch Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Don't need to do a quarter of inch now, yeah. Need reminding not yeah. to do it sometimes. Yeah. Um, Anne's got in touch with from Lincolnshire to say, love the relationship, <laughs> have bought the bag and the embroidered cushion patterns. Uh, that's from Anne in Lincolnshire. That's lovely. Cutter, I want a mat. Oh, <laughs> oh, just oh cutting mat now. We've got it all. Don't worry, we've got it all. So I'm doing the other size one as well now, mm -hmm. just to show you. So... What the important thing with this is that you follow my pictures exactly because it's very easy to put these on the wrong way round. Got you. For example, like that's how we want this. If I put it on this way, they'll be facing the wrong way. Right. So there's just, a left and a right. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. uh, as long as you do them all the same way, it works. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you follow what I've done, then we're nearly there. Mm. Mm. Then, so to do this, you could use your scissors again, or you just take off this excess. And sometimes, actually, on a cushion, I'm I wouldn't take these off. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think, it, you know, for one block, yeah, it, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, just so press back and just press back. Mm -hmm. So can you do that, Mark? Mm -hmm. Oh, one's still under under the sewing machine. Look, it's red hot. <laughs> and this one goes towards the light. Yes, out. Yes. Because, okay. because when you do this technique, um, all you're doing is replacing fabric with yes, it, something else. Yes, that's right, that's it, yeah. Yeah. Because most people would have gone towards the dark side. Would they? Oh, yeah. That's, that, what that's, what they, that's what they say. No, I, you're absolutely right, Mark. I think I, I, I often remind people that, you know, pressing isn't always don't have to. towards the dark no. side. No. It's, it's, you know... What's best for the, the quilt, for the, the cushion, the yeah. Yeah. whatever yeah. you're making. Yeah. It just makes more bulk if you all go the same way. Exactly. It depends on the technique, doesn't it? If you foundation paper piece it always goes outwards yes away from the piece you've just yeah. whether it's light or dark so if you look at this now like that I'm here right yeah on the side of here goes that and there this is right Mark I don't know I can't see from up here okay so there you go that goes there that looks right Pat it mm. does so what I'll you do <laughs> so this is a quarter of the block mm -hmm. here so we've turned we've sewn two straight lines then we're going to join that onto there because as you well know in patchwork we're really trying to make littler pieces into bigger regular pieces yeah. and then then that's a cushion and then bigger reg uh, lots of regular small pieces become a quilt mm -hmm. and that's why the quilt's not daunting you can just take it um, one step at a time. Yeah, it's piece by piece, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's just a block. That, that, that's... Can okay, you just press that down? Now, uh, up to that. Up Yvonne's to the right. got in touch from County Antrim to say, I love Pat and Mark, they're so natural. An excellent teacher. It's uh, lovely, really nice. Oh. Really nice, excellent teacher. And this is, this is the, the block, as I said, that was in the quilt. The yes, star. yes. So if they do this, they can get the confidence of one done one block yeah. from the from the uh, the quilt already done yeah exactly right right so now it this is the same size as this which is great <laughs> which is which is what it's all about really <laughs> and if it wasn't don't start trimming no nope, something's wrong unpick have a look yeah yeah have a look line it up and again you can do it um i had a, a question from somebody um the other week mm. who was pr relatively new to patchwork 
and she asked me about um, reversing at the beginning and oh, end. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, Which is um, very much a dressmaker's thing, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. And why, why we don't do it in patchwork is because all you're doing is creating bulk, aren't you, to the mm -hmm. end of mm -hmm. all of your seams. Which is okay when it's a little thing, but if it's a big thing, you can imagine how much bulk at every join you're going to get. Yeah. Oh, more. Can you do more, Mark? I'll have that. I'll go that way that time. Can that you? way? Yeah. Um, and that excess um, thread. Yes. All yes. the time you yeah. do back and forth, back and forth. Yes, of course. Yes. Yeah. So we don't do any re reversing. And then and she got back to me and she said, yeah, but I've done what you said and mine's coming undone. Uh-huh. Well, and that I said, that's because it's only at this stage at the moment. But with patchwork, every time you join a different section, it's become, you're covering another edge. Mm-hmm. So the best thing to do is not to mess with it too much at mm -hmm, this stage, mm -hmm. and then it'll always be crossed by something else, yeah. even a big quilt, because you get to the border, then you get to the binding, and it all does that. Totally and agree. also, as I said, do you think your machine stitch is too big? Too long, yeah. And she said, that's exactly what I it was. I was thinking that, yeah. you know, because most dressmakers use yeah. a stitch length of what, 2.4, 2. 2. 2.5, yeah. 2. and I use 1.8 for patchwork, yeah. which you'd be hard pushed to pull apart. Uh, yes, yeah. that's right. You've um, really got to give it a good rip. To you get have. It off. Yeah. Yeah. The only time I, I do reverse at the start and end of one set of seams on a quilt, and that's when I put the border on. Oh, right. I do a little reverse only because it's the final it's the and there isn't another seam going across Cross it mm -hmm. for yeah. the, you know, the exact reason that you said you don't need it anywhere else. No, do you? you don't. Um, so, the, I mean, this is as simple as it gets. Mm -hmm. We just repeat mm -hmm. this, keep going mm -hmm. and that and you join four of these together. Because that's one four to make up the, the square. Four. Yeah, one and four. And all you've got to look at is, look, this, these are your flowers. So if we can have them all going the same way, that would be good. We'd like that. We would <laughs> like it, wouldn't we? Mm -hmm. So Definitely. I don't think I should do any more because, do you? Because it's No, that's perfect. Same, same. I just want to remind everyone about the pattern and how you can get it. Okay, the do. instructions are 9 99 details are on screen. All of the kits are gone, I'm afraid, but well done if you got them. But well done you if you've got the pattern because it's a terrific pattern. Great if you're absolutely brand new to patchwork and quilting. If you've more experience, also great. Uh, it's a beautiful block. Um, in the pattern, you've got instructions for making it up into a cushion, but you could turn it into a runner, a wall hanging, a quilt. Uh, you get full instructions. The finished cushion size is 16 inches. So again, very, very usable as well. Now, um, that block also appears in uh, the quilt that we saw this morning and that is hanging behind pattern mark. Now the quilt kit itself is sold out, but we do have just a few of the quilt uh, instructions left. In fact, we've got 14 of these sets of instructions left, but I've over 30 of them in baskets. So <laughs> let me show you the pattern book. It's to make the springtime delight. It's a 65 and a half inch square quilt make a great wall hanging mm -hmm. beautiful on a bed as well though yeah i think square quilts i like to put on point on a bed oh lovely that's if nice if you've got like a plain linen yeah if you put a, a, a fact you know a decorative quilt on top on point mm -hmm. it just looks lovely on really top. and i think nice. it always looks bigger because yes, it, it drapes down the side yeah yeah, yeah. 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 absolutely yeah. Yeah. absolutely it's absolutely gorgeous isn't it now um the way the way the pattern is set out is rather than lots of daunting cutting of an entire quilt mm. before you even start it's actually broken down into blocks or yeah. sections where there are blocks repeated you might make eight of the blocks you might make one you might yeah. make four yeah. but you're going to actually have you've got your cutting instructions your piecing instructions just for that one section mm. i think that's a lovely way of setting out a quilt pattern and another reason for that for that is that if you're not an experienced designer and let's face it designing comes with it's a progression isn't it you do yeah. one thing you make for a little sure. thing or oh, i can do something better oh, yeah. if you do it one at a time then when you're doing the next bit offer up some fabrics you mm -hmm. can see if it goes with that's it a good idea, whether yeah. it clashes mm -hmm. or not so that's why i do them like that mm -hmm. so that it gives you the choice and you haven't got to make all of the decisions at once they haven't got to cut all the fabric out and then suddenly realize no. that one block 
clashes with another one for sure yeah. anything oh, and that's I exactly like that. yeah exactly yeah. what i do when i'm making it i've got like my range of fabric and then i'll just take so many bolts and think yeah, i'll use those for this mm -hmm. one and mm -hmm. then look at where they're going and move through the process like that so we've gone from a, a pre-made pre-cut kit to how to use the booklet and now you're a designer all yeah. in one day it's fabulous <laughs> we've really run the gamut <laughs> i've only got nine of these uh, quilt <laughs> books left I've only got nine of these left. Well done if you've checked out your basket. This is winging its way to you. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that it's spiral bound. It means you can lay it out flat on the table. Every alternate page, well, every page in fact, is blank on one side. So if you want to make notes, if you want to stick yeah, little stick. swatches of fabric yeah. down or jot notes about how you might quilt as mm -hmm. you go, I often think, oh, I could quilt this in this yeah. area of the quilt. I'll jot that down on a pattern too. Yeah. It's all there for you um, wonderfully set out very supportive pattern so if you've never quilted if you've never patchworked before it's a very supportive pattern as well um, Pat Mark I think it's fair to say it's been a triumphant <laughs> debut a triumphant on, on Sewing Street thank you so thank much you. What, what if nobody watches next time now are you going to watch next time? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to watch next time. <laughs> For the sport as well as the sewing. <laughs> Pat and Mark from Totally Patch, thank you so thank much. You, well, well, thank you, Thank you, everybody, as well. Thank you. We'll see you on the 3rd of October. Mm. All right, lovely. Um, we're going to go to a little break now. If anything's in your shopping basket, do make sure you check out during the break. For our last hour, we're going to be looking at sewing and embroidery machines. So don't go anywhere. I'll see you after this. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy Alan a present. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. For a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. 
never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy Alan a present. Now, this hour, our final hour on Sewing Street. I'm hopping again, aren't I? I'm bouncing. Our final hour, I'm excited, um, on Sewing Street is we've got the Brother FS250. We've got the Brother Embroidery Machine. We've also got the Elna 680. But I'm going to start with a few fabulous quilt kits. And I want to start with this absolute beauty hanging behind me, which is the K-Facet uh, Tumbling blocks quilt i want to feel i want to feel like i want to yank it over but i can't but that's okay it is magnificent this is pieced in columns in strips there are no y seams it's easy i did actually do a full demo of this just about a fortnight ago i think it was the 23rd of august if you want to watch back very very easy i've only got three of the um, kits left. Now, let me just grab 
the quilt kit here it is so the quilt itself is 160 centimeters by 210 centimeters so a really really good size for throwing over a sofa or a double bed queen size bed it's a really nice size um, very simple to piece you've got all of the fabric in the kit to make the top so all of the front the border and the binding the price is crashing should be 249 pound we've only got three left 179.99 now at midnight tonight the price will go back up so this really probably is your last chance to get this kit and it is stunning um i was talking earlier on when we had the rainbow pre-cuts from K Facet. If you're somebody like me that can't decide between a favourite colour and you just love them all, then I think this is the perfect quilt because it is a rainbow, isn't it? The colours are absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Uh, shall I get the quilt kit open? Yeah. Have a little look. Have a little look. Uh, beautiful as always stunning you've got your guide to all of the fabrics in there and uh, then once you dive in you've got everything all beautifully wrapped up so inside here's all of your gorgeous fabric i'm gonna dive in and look at this just absolutely beautiful all these different cuts um all really quite large pieces of fabric and you get loads loads and loads of different colors all of the feature prints are leafy prints um it's called the actual quilt is called tumbling leaves because all of these prints have leaves are featured on them and then you've got these two gorgeous polka dots um, the purple polka dot is to use for the piecing and then the blue polka dot is to use for the binding and then you've also got your border fabric and it's to make this exact quilt that's hanging behind me. So you've got exactly the same fabrics as the quilt that's hanging behind me. It's magnificent, isn't it? And if you're looking at that thinking, I don't want to do Y seams, Stuart. Um, the good news is there are no Y seams. Uh, it is pieced together in strips and it is straight seams all the way down and then join the strips together i gave a full demo um 28th was it or 23rd um 23rd of the 8th and uh, very very simple very easy and easy to get accuracy actually um, now you do need to buy the pattern separately the pattern isn't included with the kit it's a fabric pack and in order to get the pattern you'll need to buy or have already this book which is called K Facets Timeless Themes. Now this is a fabulous uh, book actually. You've got 23 different patterns in there. 23 patterns and also as well it's an absolute smorgasbord of inspiration and beautiful photography that really does celebrate Cave's world of colour, uh, the way that he is inspired, he talks about his inspirations and also about, you know, those classic themes like circles, like vases and containers, like stripes. Uh, that he uses like florals that he uses in so many of his quilts and his designs um, it's an absolutely beautiful coffee table book with such a lot of inspiration but then of course you've got all of your patterns set out including there it is tumbling leaves great price as well 19.99 for 23 patterns so well under a pound a pattern well under a pound a pattern great now you are saving a fiver by the way as well <laughs> I 
Liz has got in touch to say, uh, super show this morning, Stuart, with lots of laughs. We like that. The day has just got better. My cockerel has just arrived. Now, I, I could only see that bit of the message and I thought, oh, hello. And then the chicks will arrive later. She says, no, not a live one. And then I thought, oh, Liz, is it someone's having chicken tonight? But no, it's Delphine Brooks autumn panel. So gorgeous and huge. Everyone in the gallery has just gone, oh, relief relief yes we had all sorts of thoughts of what was arriving on your doorstep today but that's great news good i know what you're doing this afternoon i feel like chicken tonight cockerel tonight right moving on um, let's do the other one that's from that book which is blue Susani. blue Susani is actually the cover quilt it's actually the cover quilt cover girl um, now I've already shown you the book and I want to show you the quilt next I'll show you the quilt next because it's an absolute beauty absolute beauty oh it is gorgeous now this is made with K facet shot cottons and it's also featuring the beautiful polka dots, the two-tone polka dots, and a couple of really fabulous woven stripes as well. I mean, if you love colour, but you're not that into lots of pattern, you know, you like to keep it a bit simpler, I think this is a really gorgeous quilt. And the way it's pieced, while well, we've got it hanging up here, is large squares... Well, we're not hanging it, we're holding it, aren't we? That is true. Stretch! Um, it is large squares sewn together, okay? And then these big circles get basted on, and then this is bias. You make your own bias tape that you then sew around and fold over and stitch down. Um, these outside blocks here are simple squares with stitch and flip corners to snowball the corners. And then a border added around the outside. That was a big old stretch, wasn't it? <laughs> no, no, no that's, a, that's the human quilt rack that is me and Kat, isn't it, eh? I feel like I've done all the exercise I need to do for one day. I don't know about you. Yeah, yeah, we're done. We're over that. Uh, this is the kit. <laughs> now, 259.99. But not today. Not today. Oh, you're going to like this saving. 189.99. That's a whopping saving, isn't it? That is a whopping saving. I love that. You get all of your fabrics inside the kit for all of your piecing, that applique, uh, the borders, the binding. It's all in the kit. It's a big quilt as well. It's 183 centimetres squared. You're saving £70. You're saving £70. Absolutely terrific. That is a beautiful quilt, isn't it? Absolutely stunning quilt. Yeah, love that. Now, you do need the book, K Facets Timeless Themes. So I'm just going to grab that again just to remind you if you haven't already got this book it is a beautiful beautiful book actually 23 new quilts inspired by classic patterns loads of inspiration you know if you want to sort of get inside the mind of k facet and understand how he puts together his designs how he puts together his colors how he makes it all work um, it's a great book it's a great coffee table book as well and there's lots of his paintings and collections featured as well ain't you got a vase okay good at quilting bad at grammar well, that's tickled the gallery hasn't it bad at grammar Bad at grammar. Don't do it. Right, strip rolls. Now, this is all we've got left. We, we launched brand new K Facet pre-cuts today. Uh, we're going to start with the blue. This is called Lake because this is the one we've got fewest of. Yeah. Oh, 
we've only got three of these left now um look at the beautiful job that that cat's done of putting this strip roll back together should i just open it up yeah cat's saying to me go on open it but i'm not going to i'm not going to i can't that i can't do it to cat i can't do it but you've got beautiful different k facet blues right from the very lightest to the very darkest and generally speaking you're getting two of each strip roll they look like this oh lovely two and a half inch strips cut selvage to selvage absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful they are the 20 prints you get you get two of each yeah yeah fab uh, 47.99 which is still a very very good price you know because i've heard on the grapevine that moving forward a lot of moda like jelly rolls are going to be in the 60 pounds for a, for a, a jelly roll so 47.99 very very good price right next up what should we do meadow sorry you did say meadow 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 so meadow features all of the greens and these are wonderful vibrant greens right from those really bright sort of yellow greens citrus lime chartreuse leaf spring greens and then more of the jades and the forest greens and even bluey greens in there as well there's a real mixture of florals there's some spots in there some abstract prints but they just work absolutely beautifully and um, scale wise sort of medium scale prints on the whole there but just absolutely delicious 47.99 again I'll have roll a little bit of that now we did have a 10 inch charm we had a charm pack as well but they sold out so this is the only uh, pre-cut now that we have available in the meadow in the meadow it's not in the meadow is it it's an elvis presley song yeah gorgeous what's lovely actually when you when we've just been flicking through uh timeless themes the book from Kay Fassett and I'm actually recognizing some of these prints some of the inspiration you know in terms of paintings and collections that Kay's got and also Philip Jacobs who's one of the designers for the Kay Fassett collective he collects vintage kimono and vintage linens and furnishing fabrics chintzes you know some really old stuff uh, some stuff from the 50s from the you know 1900s <laughs> and he uses that sorry a little hiccup then and he uses that as a basis it was excitement Hannah that's what it was he uses them as a an, as a basis for his designs that was my impersonation of a rainforest frog yeah aren't these juicy just lovely and again they prove that adage that why use one green when 20 will do really i mean just look at that span of color it's a lesson in green isn't it what is green this is the lesson this is what is green and it is everything from yellow through to blue fab love it absolutely love it cats have tried to keep that in a beautiful so it'll just go back together what are you doing <laughs> there we go look it's nearly lunchtime i don't want to i don't want to give you extra work have i done a nice job everybody yeah is that so nice that's that's my good deed for the day <laughs> there you go thank god right what's next mm, vineyard 
vineyard. Uh, this is my personal favourite because I love those hot, spicy, energetic colours. It's really my thing. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I could just lose myself in all of those colours. You know, it's interesting. I do. I love music. I do love music, but I find myself lost in colour in the same way that people who are really into their music get lost in music. Do you know what I mean? I can absolutely dive in and lose all sense of time and everything else when I'm faced with colour. And I know a lot of people are like that with music. Send me that message, send me that message. Hi Stuart, in the ghetto I believe, love Crystal. It is exactly, not in the meadow by Elvis, but in the ghetto. It's a lovely song, it's a beautiful song, yeah. <laughs> you need to listen to more music. Ah, Steph's messaging as well, to say, did you mean in the ghetto, the Elvis song? I did, Steph, I did, I did. I think you need to listen more broadly, Hannah, more broadly. Oh, see, I know I do. I, I love, I love listening to the radio, you see. Whenever I'm driving, the radio's on. I do enjoy that. And I love to sing along as well. Oh, look at that. See, all the florals that I, I love, I love, love, love. But I'm getting very excited about that polka dot because I just think that is just a burst of positive energy, isn't it? If you've lost your sojo, if you need a bit of a bit of cheering up, you know, I think you could you could go you could you could do a lot worse. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I love it. I tell you what I'd like to do. I would like to make my um, garden maze quilt with that. I'd like to make my garden maze quilt with that. I did, I did in fairness, yeah. No, I would, I'd really like that. Because the garden maze quilts that I've made so far have been quite soft, subtle, quiet. And I'd like to make something that's really punchy and louder. Do you think anyone would notice? Yes, we would. You've just seen me. Live television. Right, and then last of all, rainbow, which really, in a way, is a bit like the quilt that's hanging behind me. Rainbow, rainbow, oh. <sighs> only, only quilters and fabric lovers understand. Do, do, do you know what I mean? The joy of just opening that up and just, <sighs> literally anything could be going on in the world. And I'm just content flicking through and dreaming of a beautiful colour story quilt where I start in one side in reds and oranges, moving through into golds and greens. A beautiful rainbow. Uh, if you're making a quilt for a child, a baby or a child, a teenager, anyone anyone at all but I love you know because I mean I love to make quilts for kids and I think so often we can easily go the route and they're gorgeous of you know little trucks or sailing boats or flowers or animals you know something cute something alphabetty they're all wonderful but you know just a rainbow of color is just so joyous and kind of in these sort of colours, I just don't think would ever date. 
you know that's a quilt that you might have as an eight-year-old but you'll also take it to college or when you leave home you know lovely oh, what i couldn't do with that eh how many of those have we got left hannah okay how many in baskets oh lots of these in baskets there is one left for me though joy's got in touch say morning stuart the quilt behind you is beautiful isn't it isn't it joy it's lovely it's called tumbling leaves and it's a take on the classic tumbling blocks quilt it's called tumbling leaves because all of these prints all of these feature prints are leaf prints from k facet they're paired with a gorgeous polka dot again from cave all the fabrics are from cave and because of the way it's pieced you don't have to do any y seams they're just straight seams okay which means that if you've made a quilt or two before but you've never done anything like this you'll be absolutely fine absolutely fine now actually just where cat is now if you look at this you'll be able to see that you've got a kind of half rectangle triangle at the top then an equilateral triangle and then a diamond and then an equilateral triangle and a diamond and an equilateral triangle and a diamond and you just make rows like that and the diamonds is kind of facing in opposite directions and then when you sew them together magically as long as you place all the fabrics in the right places you get tumbling leaves it's really really much much easier than you're thinking you can do it you can do it right now let's have a little look at sewing machines let's start with the brother fs250 what a machine what a machine you know i think so often when you have well, when you're starting out maybe or when you have a more modest budget um you've under 500 pounds to spend um it is really easy to think I'm not going to get very much for my money. I'm going to have to compromise because I haven't got as big a budget as, you know, my friend Jean at Quilt Club or, you know, Stuart on TV. But actually, the reality is that the Brother FS250 has phenomenal value for money. Phenomenal. I think almost unrivaled value for the budget. And you know what? <laughs> we're just about to make it even better uh 399 pound down to 379 20 pounds off and you know why because hannah's producing today and she felt like it <laughs> hannah we love it there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that at all an extra 20 pound off why not now can i just let you know that if you go to the brother website you'll put you can buy this machine you'll pay 799 pounds for it exactly the same machine thank you bruce here it is 799 pounds and you'd be relieved to hear that does include vat Whew. goodness me have you ever been caught like that though in america where you think oh that's a bargain and then you get to the till and it's like what what um oh the worst is in a hotel when you think you know what you're paying per night and then anyway i digress 379 pounds not 799 pounds and not even 399 pounds today 379 pounds okay now for that money you're getting a computerized sewing machine from the huge name of brother by your side is their tagline and that's because you feel like someone's with you it's such an intuitive machine such an easy machine to use but also they have amazing customer service you can ring them they also have a fantastic uh, manual that goes with the machine and also great online support loads of videos too that you can watch but really it's so intuitive it really is like having brother by your side now you get 
250 stitches they're all here on the front really really cool this i uh think it's such a clever idea you get a little flip chart on the front this shows you all your utility stitches those kind of stitches you're going to use all the time yes lots and lots of um buttonholes eight of them eight different buttonholes loads of utility stitches and yes you can sew lycra you can sew stretch fabrics you can sew jersey heavyweight fabric leather pu patchwork and quilting stitches do you see these stitches here that have a p and a q next to them this one's right here these are stitches like your quarter inch seam allowance or your seven millimeter if you're metric you've got your mock quilting stitch you've got your uh, uh, blanket stitch for applique as well some decorative stitches then moving on you've got loads of different uh, decorative stitches and then you've got loads of stitches which have been flipped mirror imaged now there's your 250 stitches but up top you've also got here three alphabets three alphabets so you've got uh, block capitals you've got outline capitals and cursive you've also got all of your numbers and all of your punctuation and also accented European accented letters as well so if you have a Francoise or a Bjorn in the family not an issue not an issue uh, you're welcome mesdames messieurs okay now fully computerized you can combine it has a memory so you can combine up to 50 characters so for example if you want to do name labels to go in school uniforms if you want to make a label for your latest quilt or a handmade label for a bag um, you can just program that in up to 50 characters including spaces and then uh, foot on the pedal or just press the start button at the front right here and away you go and it will stitch out one complete repeat and then if you want to stitch out another 50 more literally all you do is either press the start button again and it will stitch a second one or put your foot on the pedal and it'll just stitch out uh, at the very end it will do a locking stitch and away you go it's just a terrific machine now included with your machine you've also got uh, an extension table you've got a hard cover case and carry case as well you've also got tons of feet now with a, any sewing machine at this sort of level you would expect to get things like your zigzag your monogramming foot your button hole foot uh, maybe a, a blind hemmer foot as well but you're also getting included a zipper and piping foot a gathering foot a five groove pin tuck foot you're getting a non-stick or teflon foot an adjustable bias binding attaching foot a narrow hemmer or a rolled hem foot you get um, a button attaching foot you get an overcasting foot so you can neaten your seams just like you might with an overlocker but instead of cutting and neatening you can you can over edge stitch your raw edges to neaten them gives a really nice finish too um, just absolutely loads in a machine that's under 380 pounds now if you want to take advantage of split pay this is one of those classic times when i think gosh most of us would say yeah split pay because you pay zero percent interest you don't pay a penny more by going for split pays you don't have to go through credit checks you don't have to fill in forms either it's literally when you check out would you like split pay or not you say yes and then you'll get charged your first of your three split pays in this case it's 126 pounds and 33 pence now you don't have to pay all three before you get the machine you pay the first one we send you the machine you get a month before you pay the second one all paid off before christmas ultimate christmas present to yourself is this your retirement gift maybe a birthday present for hitting a special birthday i mean for me 52 is a pretty special birthday so you know it doesn't have to end with a five or a zero this isn't tombola you know you do what you like you please yourself right
Uh, but a beautiful, beautiful machine. Lots and lots of people come to my workshops with an FS250 actually. So they maybe have two machines, a big machine at home that they don't want to carry or can't carry, don't want to take out. Um, a more portable, but still very, very sturdy machine. Um, now you can remove your accessory box. This is where most of your feet are going to live in here. There's also space, of course, for sweets or bobbins, you choose. Now, once that's off, this reveals the free arm of your machine. So if you're sewing something like a bag or a sleeve or hemming trousers, something like that, you're probably going to use this. You've got your feed dog control here. So this drops your feed dogs by pushing the button one way. When you push it the other, the feed dogs will engage and come back up again once you take your first stitch. It is easy to use, it is beginner friendly, but also advanced friendly. Because you know at the end of the day, a wedding dress or a king size quilt are pieced together by and large with straight stitches. This machine does a great straight stitch, you know. Often it's about the skill. But if you want to do that wedding dress, if you want to make that jacket or that beautiful applique and piece quilt, you need a machine that's got, you know, a great blanket stitch, can put in a beautiful zip that has an adjustable um, piping foot attachment for creating those gorgeous little inseam piping details. Um, your machine, your FS250 can do it all. Uh, now, if you want to, you can add in a walking foot, you can add in a darning foot, and both of those are available on our website. The price is incredible. The price is incredible, isn't it? £379 for a computerised brother sewing machine with 250 stitches. Now at midnight tonight, the price will go back up to 399 pounds. So if you wanna make a 20 pound saving, absolutely buy today. If you um, would rather pay 799 pounds, of course you can go to the Brother website, but I wouldn't do that if I were you. Um, now, just wanna mention, if you want to get the walking foot, um, we've got the walking foot on our website. Uh, walking foot, great for sewing um, quilting, for quilting, thick layers. Also use the walking foot quite a lot for bag making and also for making big things like curtains where maybe you've pattern matched really carefully and you don't want to risk those pattern matched strips or, or panels drifting apart. Um, we're going to sell out of these very, very shortly. We haven't got many. It's £39.99. Um, the other thing that you might want to add in, I definitely would, is the Brother Dining Foot or Free Motion Quilting Foot. Now, obviously, you're going to drop your feed dogs. You're going to attach this foot to your machine. And what it will allow you to do is to stitch in all directions, to control the direction of stitching. So you can write your name, you can do a plique, round shapes, without turning the fabric. You can quilt in all directions. Um, free motion machine quilting takes a bit of practice. But this is the tool that you need. Fabulous. Janet Clay uses it a lot for um, applique, doesn't she? Yeah, and also Helen Newton uses the, the dining foot a lot. Yeah. Yeah, really gorgeous, really gorgeous. It's a great place to start, actually. Um, Delphine tends to quilt around things using the walking foot, but again, you could use the darning foot to achieve a similar look. Beautiful. Now, don't forget, if you want to get your hands, this one's mine, if you want to take, get your hands on the Brother FS 250, it should normally be £399. And that is, a remember, a £400 saving on Brother's price. We're already half price from Brother. However, you can save an extra £20 today and pay £379 because Hannah's producing and that means her prices are good till midnight. But at midnight, on the stroke, the price will go up to £399. A few of you have already checked out your baskets on that one. Well done. Well done. Beautiful machine. All right, let's go to the Brother Embroidery Machine next. 
Now I've been hinting over the last few days. I've just got myself a brother embroidery machine. I can't wait to get started. Um, and it really is having the brother embroidery machine on air that's inspired me to dive in or dive down that rabbit hole that is machine embroidery. Um, now, let me just tell you for, for a moment what, what's changed my mind because, you know, I've been sewing for a very long time, dressmaking, quilting, home decor. I've never done machine embroidery. But just recently, and you know what it is? It's, it's guests like Tracy Dennis and uh, Sandy Milicic Masaki, who are both very keen machine embroiderers and they've brought in samples that I've just been blown away by. And it's that combination of being able to machine embroider motifs and then add words, lettering, monograms, frames, and then add in things like patchwork and applique, maybe even a little bit of ink tense shading, a little bit of sand tangle. It's that combination. It almost feels like one little bit of the jigsaw has been missing from my repertoire and now I've found the missing piece. So I'm so excited to start experimenting with it. Now, one of the things that's put me off uh, machine embroidery in the past has been the complexity of it. I've always looked and thought that looks really hard. I bet they're really hard to thread up. Well, one thing I've discovered is that the threading pathway for an embroidery machine is exactly the same as for a sewing machine. Exactly the same. So no new skill to learn there. You already know how to thread your upper thread. OK, and then I thought, well, perhaps the bobbin, that, that's bound to be different. There's bound to be some differences there. And again, it is a top loading bobbin, exactly the same as any top loading bobbin. You wind the bobbin the same, you insert the bobbin the same. And then I thought, well, in that case, it must be difficult to program and to put the designs in. And nothing could be further from the truth. The... Uh, sort of toggling between designs, enlarging, reducing, moving is so intuitive. You know, there's arrows up, down, across, that way, bigger, smaller. I think now with most of us using smartphones or tablets, computers, it now becomes, oh, okay, right, it's easy. Uh, it's also got the capacity here. You get hundreds of designs and, and fonts already on your machine preloaded and you can't wipe them off. So again, you know, the tech nerd, uh, tech um, nephobe in me, I'm not a tech nerd at all, I'm quite the opposite. The tech nephobe in me, all right, um, fears that I could wipe the memory and ruin my machine. You can't do that, so relax, okay? The other thing is, you've got a USB, you've got a USB port in the side, so you can connect this up. You can uh, transfer designs from the internet, from your computer. There's also the Artspira app, which is free to download from the App Store. And with that, you can scan things, you can create your own artworks, you can transform them into design. Think about doing that with children's drawings or paintings or a little, I saw somebody who'd embroidered, it was like a little note that their five-year-old had written for them. They included that, it was adorable. Um, you can do that, sports team badges that you can now embroider onto um, sports. Uh, t-shirts, things like that. Absolutely fantastic. Now, the price should be £899. And my goodness me, you're getting a lot for your money, but you're going to pay a lot less. Wow. Wow. That looks like 300 and... 300? 300 pounds that's amazing. Absolutely brilliant. I love it. £599 for an embroidery machine from Brother. You know, you get hundreds of designs, but there are actually thousands of designs out there that are compatible, that will fit your hoop. You can also remember, scan, design your own, upload new designs. You don't need to use that USB port, actually. I mean, you can if you want, and you might have designs that are on USB sticks that you can put in. However, you it also connects wirelessly to your internet so you can transfer design straight from your app straight from your laptop 
onto your embroidery machine and it has a memory as well so you can store some of the things on the machine or you can just uh, you know kind of channel them directly go on oh oh no my goodness hannah 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 that is a gorgeous idea so hannah's idea for well it could be christmas it could be retirement it could be a special birthday wedding get the children to write something like merry christmas granddad um, and then scan it convert it into embroidery embroider it on a napkin and then have it on the table and take your napkin home at the end i love that i love that top table wedding gifts I mean, what about for a wedding, doing an embroidered napkin, actually just with the name of the person and use the napkin as a place setting, you know, that's a beautiful idea. Um, absolutely lovely. And of course, yeah, if you're paying somebody to do that, that commands a premium. Um, I mean, what we're talking about here possibly is a, is a business in a box as well as knit for £599. If you start personalising your makes, maybe you're already making cello, you've always wanted to. Um, napkins, reading cushions. What about bibs, Christmas stockings, Christmas decorations that have a monogram on, have a name on? Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, you get a ton of embroidery designs included and fonts and it is super easy to use as well. Absolutely fantastic. That's your hoop, by the way. And it works really just like um, a wooden embroidery hoop. So it comes in two halves, okay, like this. So you literally put your fabric in one, snap the frame in to tighten everything, tighten it up. You do want to use a stabiliser on the back of your fabric as well. So something like stitch and tear, tear away stabiliser. You can get wash away ones. You can also get some stabilisers which um, you 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 stitch your design on and then the the stabilizer you don't use fabric at all you stitch directly onto the washway stabilizer and you've got these designs on your machine already stitch it out then you wash away the stabilizer and all you're left with is like lace that's embroidered that you can then make into things like earrings jewelry christmas tree decorations you could even produce pieces of lace that you then sew onto garments imagine that's taking dressmaking to a whole new level isn't it and you saw how easy it was to put the hoop onto your machine i mean it's really really simple really simple so don't ever think that you're a technophobe and you don't know how to use a computer and or you struggle with that or you know or it's going to be difficult to use or to thread it's none of those things what an amazing price too really achievable right now then i've got a beautiful quilt hanging behind me this is the morris cross stars quilt um we had this on the 25th of August and we had a full demo uh, with, I want to say, it was Swift Quilting, wasn't it? Oh, was it Susie Duncan? Sorry, Susie Duncan. Yes, it was. It was Susie Duncan. Beg your pardon. Yep. Susie Duncan did a full demo. Now, um, would you believe, I'm just going to point out where the block is because it's not what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, here's the block here, right? Here's the block. But it isn't. Here's the block here. Here is the block here. So it's a big square. And then you've got this kind of upside down roof shape, diamond, diamond. Now, it's cut out with templates. Don't be daunted by that. Freezer paper or mylar is the answer. Personal favorite, freezer paper. Okay, but what you've got to keep in mind is it's a big block. 
there are only a few simple seams and the block is done this will come together so quickly and isn't it a beautiful quilt it's a big one it's a big one it's 226 centimeters square Eighty-eight inches square, eighty-eight inches square. So it's a big quilt. Now, currently, our price is two hundred ninety-nine ninety-nine. But Hannah, Hannah, oh, that's more like it. Two hundred and twenty-nine ninety-nine. Now that's for all the fabrics for the top and the binding and your pattern is included you're making a 70 pound saving you get all this lovely fabric look here some real classic william morris fabrics these are all um, free spirit fabrics so amazing quality absolutely beautiful quality fabrics all 100 percent cotton of course there are no solids, there are no plain fabrics, even the cream, this soft grey, they're all beautiful patterned fabrics. I think this quilt's got a look of a sort of Italian marble floor. It reminds me of kind of walking into a cathedral or some grand house uh, with a sort of, you know, 18th century stone floor. You know, the kind of thing that you're in there and suddenly you look down and then you see the floor and out comes the camera because you think, wow, that would make a beautiful quilt. Well, here is that beautiful quilt. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? All of your fabrics included, all what you need, plus your pattern included. And look, there's that magnificent border fabric. Just stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Full pattern too. You've got your templates included. Like I say, my top tip would be grab yourself a, a, a box of freezer paper and make freezer paper templates because then you can iron them down onto, you, you pre-cut your fabric into strips. So actually half the cutting's already done because you, your top and bottom is already done. You iron your, your template on top and then just cut, cut and it's done easy right now we need to go i need to do the menu let's see it all right so oh i'm ready for this 8 a.m fabulous autumnal fabrics the pumpkins are out everything pumpkin spice from now till december at nine o'clock my very very uh, lovely friend susan briscoe is here um, the UK authority on Sashko for a Sashko masterclass at 10 a.m. Plain Fabric Stash Builder. That sounds so boring, but trust me, I've seen the fabrics and they are an absolute riot of beautiful, juicy colour. So don't be taken in by that title there's nothing plain about that hour at 11 o'clock susan's back with a second sashko masterclass and then at 12 miss it miss out quilt kits you don't want to miss out you don't want to miss out none of that fomo round here all right uh what a lovely lovely day uh first visit from totally patch mark and pat what a joy they were absolutely wonderful uh, i know you enjoyed it too i'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning until then do take care